Yo, what's going on, people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Sae TV. We are off to Wembley, and the scouts have got sent packing home. Hold that. Yeah. I want to do it again, man. Liverpool, Scousers, throwing flares in the disabled section. Thought it was funny. You know what I mean? Absolute scum that is, man. You know what I mean? Absolutely despicable. You thought you could come onto our turf and do the quad over us. You know what I mean? You thought you could ride it out and just win here. Nah, man. Nah. Yeah? Hold that, Liverpool. But we're with the brothers in the building. We're here with Flawless. Flawless, what are you telling me? You I'm, telling I'm blessed. Me? I'm good, man. It's always a good time. Anytime we beat Liverpool. Uh, but big up for having me. I can see by... It's good to see, feel the energy already. You know, It's going to be a great oh, show. Man. I can already, I can already oh, see man. that. Yeah, definitely, man. Oh, I can't man. wait. And I've seen one of the comments you put up about how good how good uh, is Dalo today. So I can't wait to hear Double A's thoughts on that. Oh, yeah, man, it's good yeah, to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll wait. <laughs> we'll get into it. We'll get into it, man. Double A. We saw each other out the game. We weren't. We were just like, just make sure we battle. Make sure we we show fight. And we did that today, man. But Double A, how are you first and foremost, man? Big up, bro, always. Scouse Busters, man. <laughs> 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 hey, <bro. laughs> hey, hey! Listen, of a season of too many downs, right? And and more negative, more crit, more critical than most on this show and in general of this Manchester United team. Yeah, I, I shouted so much today. I've given myself a migraine. Like I don't understand. Like, bro, bro, it's my whoa, what a day! And it, mate, it's hard to comprehend. The, the emotions that we went through during that game. And listen, it's it's a pleasure to always be here. It's a pleasure to be with you, Said. My main man, my right hand man, my uh my uh support act flawless. Not in a bad way. No, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to little man him. Do you know what I mean? No, 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 no. That's right. <laughs> we are double act. I hear you. Yeah, that's that's the one. Uh, my twin <laughs> twin Ash and obviously it's always good to to be chopping up with Rhino as well. So it's a pleasure to have you onto the unfiltered and that. And obviously the best chat mm. on YouTube. Oh, Listen, I, ca I can't wait for this. This is going to be good, you know. <laughs> Bro, um, man, Rhino, fresh off a holiday. Yeah. What are you telling me, man? Best, best, best way to come back, man. Best hey, way to come listen. back. Listen. Listen, listen. We're, I'm gonna we're gonna talk about the journey because Staffy asked me earlier, how did the ride feel today? We're going to talk about it. Right? Listen, because we know I always yeah. use United as a car analogy. So listen, that was a crazy journey, man. I thought the plane journey was crazy, but that one, listen, the Liverpool fans are gonna say you guys ain't gonna win it anyway. But neither are you. <laughs> neither are you. <laughs> neither are you. Hold that. Hold that. Hold, Hold that. that. Hold that. <laughs> All right, big up Adam for him. <laughs> getting big up to Adam as always. Ash, make sure you check out the vlog later on. Ash is going to put out, man. What a game. My voice is gone. My legs even more effed. There's a guy who basically stood on it as we were celebrating the last minute goal. But I was like, yo, it's all good. It's all good, man. I forgive you for the last bit winner. But Ash, how are you, man? Oh, mate, my voice is gone. You can hear me now. Do you know what I mean? It's gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was. Listen, they thought they beat us three times, didn't they? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> they thought they had it. They thought they'd won. They had it. Listen, oh, it was fantastic. A, a great performance today. And, you know, beating the Scousers at home. Do you know what I mean? Seeing the, what was it? Eight, eight, nine thousand of them as well in East Stand. Loads yeah. of them packed in. Do you know what I mean? Going on, celebrating, loving it, loving that, that we were losing 2 1, loving we're losing 3 2, thinking they'd won it in extra time and all that. Came back beautiful, beautiful. What what a day! Yeah, I've got I've got it all all on vlog, so I'll be posting that one tomorrow. And and yeah, a pleasure to see you boys and, and the chat as as always. And yeah, it's gonna be fun, fun um, one tonight. Gonna be a fun one. Uh, big big yeah, result, big, result. big up to everyone locked in, man. Make sure you lot smash that like button, man. If there's any a day to hit the like button, today's the day. Hit that like button, people, man. Big up to Aminur says 
Saeed round of double A, Eric Ten Hag out as hold that I collected clock tears today. I was there today. I lost my shit in the end. Yo, big up Amilur, man. Hope you enjoyed your day, man. Big up yeah. to you, man. But I don't know where we start, you know. Do we start with the Ahmad Willow? Do we just go back that way or do we start of where you know you, I think so? Yeah, start start at the start, like the way the game started. <laughs> I think that's interesting. Yeah. Bro, ski. We should have been two three nil up. You know what the baddest thing is, yeah? Big up Leon in the cut as well, man. Big up to Leon as well, man. Leon. You know what the funny thing is, yeah? We could have easily been two or three. Look, bro, it's that crazy, you know? We battered them. First 30 minutes, yeah? They couldn't get out of our half. Yeah, I was sure. like, this is the perfect <laughs> game plan. The game plan was spot on. They couldn't get out of half. But Tom and I think one gets blocked off the line or something like that. Um, bro, shot after shot. There was opportunities for... McTominay to play in Hoyland didn't do so. Um, the Rashford won near post. The the Kobe Mino step over. Did you man see that? Aye, that Kobe, aye, aye. Oh, that was right in front of me. I was like, yo, you know what you do that? <laughs> I was like, is this guy play for my United? Because you don't see this kind of ballers at my United. I'm sorry. Don't. We don't see Kobe Mino. Like, we don't see these ballers that come out of the, the Carrington. And I mean, like, this. This guy is ready to be at the stage. And when, it, when we took him off, I was gutted because I was like, I think he had something left in him. I think he had something left in the tank. But mm. flawless, man. Chat to us, man. Mad start. And yeah, man, until that 30 minutes, I felt like we had Liverpool, man. We had Liverpool all over him. Yeah, you mentioned it there. The start, we started off well. We did. No one can't say that the first goal wasn't deserved because it was the lead. And I, I think the McTominay yeah. chance you were talking about was the one where Rashford cut it back to him and he hit it straight at the goalkeeper. That should have been 2-0. Yeah. So yeah, the start, yeah. in regards to the start of the game, fantastic. We started great. And then when McTominay missed that chance and it goes 1-1, you're thinking, yeah. oh, these players are going to crumble. And that's one thing I credit the players with today. There was no lack of fight today. And that's one thing we spoke about Yo. in particular on this show consistently, like in regards to just the bare minimum, just effort, endeavor, and all of these things. They did that. They did. They did that today. And because Liverpool had an off day, because they missed some chances and messed up some opportunities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mayno is a baller, but we'll get to Mayno. Oh, yeah. We took full advantage of that. And Mayno is. We yeah. don't do Mayno's quality, but the players stepped up today. Like that's what I have to say. They did. And hopefully this, I don't know, gives them confidence and lead them into the rest of the Premier League. And we got a favourable draw getting Coventry because we could have got yeah, man. Chelsea. So getting Coventry yeah. is the best scenario. So, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on it. Like in regards to just the start, but I know the man in my gonna man said be cut when Bruno went centre back. Don't, don't, don't. don't <laughs> Bro, I, I can't lie. He had to put him yeah. there because there was no use up front because the guy wasn't really doing anything in the, in the, in the front end of the mm. pitch. The ones that were there were the likes of Ama Diallo and obviously Anthony. I don't know, bro. This Anthony guy was possessed. <laughs> you know what's crazy? The game, man. All the criticism Anthony's received, and rightfully so, about all oh, being this fidget spinner and no right foot, and he spins and scores a goal against Liverpool. <laughs> that is the Andy. that is that is the yes, football in universe working big yes, up Andy like every single time. All this fidget spinner, ninety million, no right foot, all this nonsense, <laughs> and he does oh, that. Andy, so Andy. Andy. Fucking stone roses bumping to that lads. <laughs> Jesus. Let's go. I've I've just just got in literally. It's been a mad few hours doing podcasts here and there and everywhere with, with our doing with Paddock man uh, and a very bitter twisted clop. I heard his interview having a Yo, did you see it? Re report man. The scout siren. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Not nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, epic, Honestly, man. you know what, man? It's, you know what it is. Yeah, I said it before the game. Yeah, I said I don't know. I don't care how we play. It's one of them games where in the derby and in them, um, if you get the job done, yeah, and you get the win, especially at home, where I thought Liverpool would have the most possession, they probably did. You know what I mean? And I just looked at it and thought today, they, they, yo, if they won that today. The way them jammy two goals came in, deflected goals and all that. Oh, I was like, nah, oh, yeah. man, I'm not having this. I'm not having them, man, come to our turf here yeah, and beat us by deflected goals. I'm not having it. I really, really, I'm not having it. And like I said, man, the, 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 they scored, we scored. And we, we're going, going half 2-1. I'm like, deflated, man. And the second half was like, basically, 
a, 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 a basically nothing really. Walking football, and then one minute, one moment of brilliance from from Anthony. Boom, yeah. two two, going extra time. Bro, Broski, man, it is like like a roller coaster, man. That game was like a roller coaster of performance, and the atmosphere today was sensational, man. Listen, I know Old Trafford gets locked down and whatnot, but bro, the sensational atmosphere today, man, and phew, unbelievable, man. Them scouts is, you know, what yeah, I mean, when they, when they stood behind, where you landed in the last minute because there were limbs everywhere, yeah. and I was in the third tier with Adam. Uh, honestly, little old lady there bouncing around, and she's like 75 years old. And I'll give me yeah. people are jumping on top of her, jumping on top of me. And you, and you, yeah, got God, actually, we'll talk lady. about her story. I'm like, guys, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> she had a smile, yeah. bless her. you know what I mean? 75 yeah. years old, oh, yeah, she was bouncing, yeah, Just, 100%. I, man, I, I have to say, man. go on, chat yeah. us, bro, like. People talk about the FA Cup dying, yeah. Today is the epitome that there's still magic in the FA Cup. And, bro, so, some some bitter scousers jumped in, giving 4 nils, 5 nils, 7 nils. It's not about league games, bro. It's a one-off game. It's a quarterfinal of the FA Cup. All that matters is that we win. It's not... A, there's stuff we can take from that going into the season, and we'll probably get on that as well. But today, all that matters yeah. is that we... We scored more goals than Liverpool, and that's I, I kind of that's exactly what you did. I kind of agree because if you look at Coventry as yesterday, that second half that was what the FA Cup means, and it was entertaining. Oh. It was one of the most entertaining five five minutes of football I've seen this season. Yeah, so was, yeah, that it, epitomizes today what the FA Cup is. Mate, it was unbelievable, and I've not felt like that at Old Trafford all season. That I've not felt that atmosphere all season at Old Trafford, and and, and obviously oh. the first game was absolutely dog shit. Anyway, I'm not I'm not an atmosphere like that since the League Cup semi final with City in 2010. 2010, yeah, wow, yeah, that, that's probably wow. true. That's, that's like 14 true. years, like same season when we beat City in the, in the league match as well. Yeah, that's so yeah, like a good fifth, nearly 15 years when it's not been an at Old Trafford has never rocked. No, and before sure. that, even Barcelona. And I have, so, I, have, I have to say, like that, that fact, last five minutes of that first half was, it was, it was a story of the season. Like we'd gone nice. up, we'd we'd started really well, started out the traps, we'd put them on the back foot. They didn't know what hit them. And like you spoke, you and Flores have both said, should have been two, three up. And then we shit the bed. One goal goes. They scored three goals in five minutes. Oh. Obviously, lucky was one was offside. And I put, I put a tweet out at half time, I think it was, saying, I figured it out. United are Pele. They can't keep it up. That's an erectile dysfunction, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, you know? I'm your high man in that double A. <laughs> Some <laughs> things we just can't. I can't. Yeah, you go and check Adam's channel. You, you'll see my analogy. He's put it up all right. It was like a porno. It was like a porno watching United tonight. Performance, brilliant, great. Then you go limp. And you fucking oh, you can't do it, you can't do it. You you're going down and down and down, and you rise again. And that final fucking thrust, one two, and the fucking Pele Viagra moment. Fucking oh hell! My God. Just want to say, all views that are expressed on side on side TV by Andy, yeah, yeah, not yeah. by Andy by himself, and not by anyone. Oh not by himself. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Rather than, rather than, sure. <laughs> it's the same. Sorry, but yeah, I'm sorry. I yeah, it's safe now. It's safe. Oh, Listen, big up Andy, man. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's big up Andy, while, man. Oh, that was my analogy. Big up to. It's emotion, mate. We're all different people. <sighs> yeah, hundred percent. Too many to mention, but I want to second Dalo salute. Big up to Sunshine FC. Hope you're well, Sunshine. Big up the panel yeah, and chat. Let's go United. Said and Ahmad freaking scored the game winner. Big up, big up. Arsenal will stop the Scouts win the league. Listen, get out of here, Zane, man. We're here to talk about the, the, the Liverpool game. You know what's mad, yeah? Like, Rhino, man, tactically, yeah. I can't fault the, the first 30 minutes from Ten Hag. Like, yeah. that was a perfect yeah. game plan. We, we we suffocated them. Like, we, we should have had more goals. But that mm -hmm. first 30 minutes, the way we press, man, we don't see it often. This is a problem, man. This is why yeah. we, we are where we are. Like, we don't see it often. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. something that we could be doing more often. You know, you know what it was for me, what? yes, I yeah. I was a shot because when you see that the setup and the, the team that was selected, and you see McTominay in there, you're not really yeah. expecting much, kind of, because obviously you know a lot of these players can't hold the ball, but just the intensity and the triangles yeah. and the effort and people passing and moving, I was just like, what? Where's this coming from? And then the crowd was up for it, and then I'm just going mad because I'm thinking. 
it's mad because at that time I wasn't as excited. I'm just chilled mm. because obviously I'm traumatized from all the games of this season where we haven't played too well or we've started off good for 20 minutes and then we just shit the bed. You know what I'm saying? But then yeah. I was, yeah, we was just out of the yeah. gate straight away. And then when McTominay's goal went in, I said, wow, well, okay. Even the commentator was like, yeah, we well deserve that. And I proper looked back and thought, hold on. We actually, you know, FA Cup against Liverpool were playing, were balling. Then, yeah. you know, I'm starting to get the little doubts and I'm thinking, okay, how long can we hold this for now? You know, and then, yeah, even we'll talk about Liverpool scoring after. But yeah, just the, the, the tactics at the start, the way the players were running around, just making the right passes. Obviously, the end product wasn't f fully there, but just the intensity and the hunger and the, the fight for me was great, man. It was great, man. Big up, Rums. Shout out, Rums. Man. Rums, don't Shout go anywhere, Rums. Rums. We'll see you tomorrow. Don't go we'll anywhere. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it was good. Spot on, man. Spot on. They, they, mm -hmm. It's like they cared. They cared. We're playing Liverpool. We're not going to let them do this. And that's what we were yeah. wanting to see. So, yeah, man. No, nah, this this comment here. I'm sorry, more. man. It wasn't it wasn't our press Liverpool. Listen, I don't care what Liverpool do, man. You know what I'm saying? They they have got some good footballers, McAllister. Them man could get out of their their, their, their box, man. They were so I don't want to hear that. They really. were shell shocked. They were shocked, man. It's okay to be shocked. They were shocked yeah. by our press. But this is where I got annoyed because Bruno Fernandez. I don't know what he's doing, man. But he allowed him back into the game with the with the, with the second goal. The first obviously goal was obviously. Um, a deflected shot by McAllister, but we we made our own mistakes. We gifted them yeah. the first two goals. It was that's, down to our mistakes, and that's United in a nutshell. When you said you don't know what Bruno's doing, no, Bruno's doing exactly what Bruno does. He <laughs> Bruno'd, like we know this. We've seen him yeah. do this time and time. This is not new. We're at game he week one, twenty nine. He Bruno. That's what I say when people say, "Oh, how do you think he played?" He was Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. Then even though we won today, it's yeah. Like, them mistakes are going to happen because the quality is not there. But that's why I spoke about the effort and just the endeavour of the players and just try it. Yeah. Yeah. And look what happens. Yeah. Liverpool had an off day and we're not at it. That is due to them just not being at it. But it's also due to us. You mentioned us in the press and how we played. Because it probably was a shock to them. Complacency might have crept in. Probably thought United have been terrible all season long. They're going to rock up. And even club subs taking off Salah. Uh, because I believe they were yeah. were they two hey. one up at that time. I was happy when I they saw were two. They, <laughs> yeah, they was two one up yeah. at that time. I mean, to be fair, Liverpool didn't get out first gear, and they're like they're playing two games a week nearly enough now between now and the end of the season. Yeah. They're only playing one game a week, and they like basically walked it from about the forty forty third minute onwards yeah. up till the eighty fifth minute. Because Andy, yeah. he played he played a lot of the, a lot of the players played in that Europa League game that they just played that didn't need to because they were five one up. From the first leg, and like Salah played the full 90, even though they was up like 10 2 on aggregate. Van Dyke played 30 minutes. A lot of those players who played today played in that game and shouldn't have. But like I said, taking off Salah when you're 2 1 up, like that signifies that's a mistake on Klopp's part. Why yeah. would you take him off at that point? I think he thought the game was done as well. But credit to United, credit to Ten Hag, because Ten Hag subs worked. I'm saying cool. bringing on Anthony, bringing mm. on Diallo. I thought Ericsson was good as well. Obviously, we'll talk about Diallo further on in the show. Yeah. But yeah. I have, I, have, I have to it say, like, the se second half, we I thought we were dead and buried. I thought, like, at once we, we've said so many times on this show that once United can see oh. one goal, and yeah. I was I, I was on a space before a Liverpool fan said the exact same thing. He said, once we scored that first goal, we knew a second was coming, and that's what we've seen all season long. Mm. Now, credit for me, like I say, like obviously there's all the rumors coming out that the players are unhappy with Ten Hag making them work. You see in that second half exactly why he is making them work because they look dead on the feet. No energy, they can't run, no yeah. legs. And, and for me, I, it was not like I gave up, but I thought, if Liverpool go and score three, four goals, it ends three, four, I wouldn't be surprised because it was just, it was easy for them. And we weren't getting about them. We weren't putting them tackles in. We weren't getting into them. And um, credit needs to be done to these players. And, and listen, a lot of people will be pissed off that it's Anthony that's done it. <laughs> that's gone and got that goal. But you have to give them so much credit, these players, for turning it around. And extra time, yeah. we just looks like every time we, goal, side. we could score. We could score. We How often, mm -hmm. How often, especially against big teams, can we say Manchester United look like they could score on every single attack? Yeah. Don't say that. And oh, We should have won it full time, shouldn't we? Uh, we right, should have. Yeah. Uh, that Rashford chance. 
How? How? Was he outside? I said he was on. He could have been in it. He could have been. Almost yeah. gonna be. It was almost. Gonna be the, the, the one, the, the one way the, the, before, before extra time. One in normal time. Yeah, the yeah, one before. Yeah, yeah, time. No, that was onside. Van Dyke was playing him. Van Dyke was playing him. Mm-hmm. Van Dyke so, clearly played him. It's not onside. It's not offside. No, no, no. No, it wasn't. Man, I said this. I hope he has nightmares. Second half was. I hope he has nightmares with that for the rest of his life. Because if you get a chance like that. You, you gotta put that away again in another game. You know if you watch it, you, you know if you watch it again, Andy he doesn't actually look at the goal. Like he, he, when he controls it, he, he just goes oh, off instinct and just puts okay. it. Right, like he, he doesn't doesn't look at the goal once. Do you know what I mean controls crazy. it, takes yeah, it, and then tries to put it in the far yesterday. corner? Coventry, He's got to pick his head up and watch it. He looked up the Coventry winner. He looked up and he knew where he wanted to put it mm-hmm. yesterday. Just oh, like Kobe Manu, he put it in the far corner. The, the player could not get it. Very yeah, nice. it's easy. Yeah, but man. to be fair to him, he 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 did stop going until the last minute. You know, what I mean, I thought yeah, it was a good performance. First half, first half, I'm not gonna lie to you. Rashford's tracking back was terrible, but the second half and towards the end, I gotta give it. The commitment was there yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah, you yeah, get me? And he, and he yeah, showed his he showed his quality. In the stadium having a go at him. No, 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 no none, none at all. Now you can't you, yeah. can't, talk, you can't talk about his tracking back because to use a, a a flawless phrase, he Rashford. Like he just rushed with dinner. That's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> what, that's what they you know what it is, double A. Sometimes we just need to accept you know how they say accept people for who they are when they show you. That's what we need to do with yeah. players. Exactly. When I've when I've watched a player for a year, two years, and they consistently do something, that is just them. So with the Rashford tracking back thing, that's just him at this point. Yeah. Well, uh, he, he, didn't track he, back. he did well, he did well for the first goal. And and listen, mm-hmm. a lot of players to, to, for him to keep going, them you know, he had two he missed two two good chances. And then he, he should have cut one back in the first, the first bit of extra time, wasn't it? He should have cut one back. He, he, give, yeah. that one, he give that one to McTominay and he got a goal. Like, we we can criticise, and I don't want to sit here and criticise these players today because I'm, it's a one-off game and they've done the fucking One-off job. game, yeah, exactly. I'm proud of exactly. every one of them because yeah, yeah. Yeah, too, yeah, long, too, long and, too long in here, yeah. we've slagged them off, slagged them off. Rightly so, don't get me wrong, rightly so we have. But today, it's all about, they were, the best thing today, I'm not saying it was a great team performance, but they acted like a fucking team and they've not done that enough that se- this season. You know what you frustrates... Walk, if you're going to walk, oh. any, walk away with any frustration, I was just going to say, is that they don't do it enough. That's that's, it, yeah. that's, that's, that's it. what I'm saying, though. The reason why that frustrates yeah. me is because they need big games. It shows that Tenag doesn't motivate them for the rest of the games and the rest of the big games. They need an occasion to get them hyped. They need the fans to get them hyped rather than self-motivating themselves. You saw after the second goal went in just before half time and then they came out in the second half, they looked like they were they were done, looked like they weren't interested. And you you, you started to hear the crowd pick up a little bit, get, get a little bit of belief, you know, reacting to Liverpool fans. Because they were, what, 8,000 yeah. today, today at Liverpool fans? Yeah, there was yeah, a the Liverpool section was just loud for a minute. Yeah, yeah for a good moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. He already sang yeah. when he was in front. That was the only time yeah. he sang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they smuggle them in, don't they? Mm, uh, yeah, five, six, <laughs> five. Yeah, yeah, you hear that? You hear our fans pick up, and then you see this players start to play, and they start to track back a little bit. Uh, Rashford actually starts starts to get a bit of movement and stuff. And I, I thought I thought we did I thought we did well today. I thought we thought we did fantastic. It, it's, it's one of those where Tenag Tenag got all his all his uh, substitutions right. I was thinking that bringing Maino off was a mistake. Maino today with his composure, composure in such a big game. I mean, that yeah. needs to be spoken about more. His ability on the ball, do you know what I mean? But it's the composure, big game, Liverpool, you know, crowd, crowd mad, 18 years old, just playing, playing. And we've said before, like Sadoff, do you know what I mean? Just take, taking on man, just having no issues. Yeah. No, like we don't see those players in the midfield. We're not seeing one of them since like Paul Scholes or Michael Carrick, you know, just that ability, that calmness, that composure. And, and um, he was, he was, the main man in the midfield for us today and and he Bruno and, and McTominay they weren't helping too much in tracking back so he was having to do a lot of it do you know what I mean and and you look up the performances yeah. across the field you look at Garnacho and stuff Garnacho needs oh. to be spoken about as well you know just Maybe taking will, on man will. consistent listen, terrorizing apparently he's not good enough because I know apparently he's not good enough yeah exactly no 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 listen oh, listen oh, Leon oh. Leon you're gonna have to hold that today then. we will talk about Garnacho <laughs> but big up to kick out I'm yeah. ready when you lot are in it I'm gonna just sit back I'm ready when you lot are <laughs> big up King Howie, he says, hey, big up, well, after Wembley side, big up the whole panel. Andy, tell them Scousers to hold that. <laughs> hold and big up that, Eric, said, can we hold, hold that? that. <laughs> hold that, hold that. <laughs> uh, big up Eric as well. Big up to you, my guy, man. Hope you're well, Eric, man. But you who know what's bad, yeah? I saw you do two flip-flops. Don't, don't just skate past it. I don't who even know you. I don't know what he's talking about I know, I know he's looking at me. I don't know. We'll have to find out. He didn't. Eric, I don't know. 
We'll have to find out. We'll have to find out. If you want to know, he'd name him. Like, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you know, he'd name him. We're here, we're here, we're here praising individual players and praising the team for actually playing like a team. Bear in mind, it's the bare minimum. But like Double A said, we've not seen enough. And that's always a a main criticism I have and I've heard other people mention in regards to just putting in effort. And that's what we did today. See, Flawless, if if they perform like that week in, week out, we can't say anything. I mean, we can't say anything. That is it. And let no, me clarify we... it, yeah. Look, Our happiness comes from the fact that Liverpool are not doing the quad. That's where the happiness is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mate, what do they, yeah. What do they think it is? Oh, Ten Hag, Ten Hag in, like, 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 yes, we're back. It's, no. It's both Rhino. Anytime we beat Liverpool, it's yeah, their, 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 their number one. It's sweet. Up. Like, it's always yeah. beating Liverpool is always a good day. Like, without doubt. Like, I'm always. Oh, yeah. We still got one more job today. We got we got one more Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because you know what Grizz said, yeah? Grizz is outside the ground, yeah? I'm with Grizz. Yeah, I was with Grizz outside the ground. He said, you've won the battle, but not the war. And I was like, listen, we're going to stop you as well from winning the league. How about that? So come back to Old Trafford in a, in a couple of weeks' time. I won't stop you from winning the league. But Leon, chat to us, man. How do you feel, man, about the game and just in general, the emotions of the of the game, man? Madness. You're on mute, by the way. Oh, big up, man. Oh, I'm mad, I'm mad. Where have you been? You've been in. We're going to Wembley. Oh, I'm mad, I'm mad. Finally. Oh, man. This manager, I'm not even going to say makes the right decision because he probably felt like he just had to throw him on. Do you know what I mean? Like he probably didn't expect that. But that show, it showed everybody, yeah? When you put a little bit of quality on the pitch, just look at the way that he took that last chance compared to our other yeah. strikers, sorry, our other forwards that are not only overhyped but overplayed. That kid, yeah. the composure, I said it, in the first half, was it when McTominay smashed that chance? Yeah, just hit, just tap the ball into the corner, bro. You don't. There's no the the way he hits it with the side of the foot <sighs> compared to the way Ahmad finishes. This is what I've been yeah. talking about for ages, man. Technical players. Today the guys played. They didn't play amazing. I'm not going to overhype the performance. We just wanted it more than the opposition, and that's all I've been wanting this season because we don't have that much quality in this squad. But what we cannot excuse is them not going for it. And to be honest with you, we've seen a little sprinkle of the old United where not quality-wise, but where they just wanted it, wanted it, wanted it, and wanted it. And yeah. Liverpool were they 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 were pretty poor, to be honest with you. Like we, I'm not gonna downplay how much we wanted it, but they I was I was very surprised that they didn't take the sting out of the game and that they didn't, apart from some deflected shots, they didn't really, they were a bit. Compared to what I've seen yeah, the last Klopp few weeks, they weren't. Yeah, they weren't. You know. It was a bit weird. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was almost like the kids have been playing well in that, but maybe they're maybe they're a bit tired. I don't know. I don't know. But we wanted it more. We got it. We deserve to win it. And um, big up the lads. But been waiting for this for a long time, man. This is like our own little out of the whole season. This is like probably one of the best moments, isn't it? So. It can't be just a moment. No, they have I to big up Lee Ray. Sorry, Andy, but it is just a moment because we've been watching this shit for a year, and this is the one. Exactly. This, when, when was the last time we felt like this in the last year? Bro, that's what I'm saying, man. And people want to celebrate. People, people want a police celebration, bro. I say to everyone, yeah, oh, no, let people to. be happy in it. Yeah, enjoy. people need to be mad. Right, yeah. exactly. Let people enjoy it, man. Enjoy, you know the, enjoy the moment. We are reacting to the said game. We are not here reacting to the whole season. Manchester United have just knocked Liverpool out in the fashion we knocked them out last minute of extra time to go to an FA Cup semi final. In, in a good game to like, watch. As in, well, in, in a great, in a, in a great game, in a game where we was heavy underdog. Last minute winner, winner. and the last yes. minute winner. And it was Diallo Sweet. who you mentioned there. Like the finish was very, very composed. But what I think was cold was the first touch. I think that's you know, super. I was just about to say that the, the way he stole the set. defender a dream. You need to watch okay, that. That yeah. was the first yeah. touch. The, the way video, he set that up. The, the way on the referee up. behind coming at Ahmed, you could see what a slimy little toe rag he was because he knew yeah. he was like, oh, I'm going to send him off. He he was like I say he was a shocker of oh, the ref. ref he's getting red there to do what he did. You know you what I mean? It's how much like, t- time did he have, Andy? Did you see how much time he added on? Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm going to talk about that. What yeah. was that about? Criminal. He's desperate to go home back to his wife. He's like, nah, I just need to stay here as long as possible. Lad. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't be asking him. What I have to say about the Amad goal, the best thing about it was how he turned a shit pass into a goal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That pass that from Amad from Ganacho was a, was a bit shit. And we know he had a good game. But the pass was really bad. And but think about as well, just to start a double pressure. A, think about some of the stuff he was doing that people won't even talk about yet. I seen oh. him in about a few minutes before the end win a header to yeah. recycle the ball at his high. I seen him 
He won the ball Kobe, back to set up his own goal. I, he, I, he I always wrong. Right, yeah. Kobe in that game, everybody's like, oh, let's get it forward. Oh, let's spam it. And then manager just going, no, let me put my foot on the ball, yeah? And let me just run things right now. Do you know what I mean? That's what I've been waiting for. So, <laughs> Do you know if yeah. I was Ten Hag? You know if I was Ten Hag now and, and showing pause, my balls and that, yeah? Giving it a, the bigger than that. Like... You're getting a better double there. You're getting a better. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Yo. I would... Give him a chance for this. He's a bit better. I would hey, be yo. I've been giving it like Rattles I told you. Like I knew, I knew when to bring him on. Like, listen, like, do, you, do you remember when Pep used to get it with folding all the time about he's not playing mm. him, he's not playing him, and he eventually brought him in. Listen, I'm not saying Ten Hag's done that, but he's done it at the right moment. And listen, he's got. Mm. You got to suffer today. Got, I'll give you that. He's got the results. Yeah. And he's got the performance out of him now. What scares me though. What scares me? Ten Hag may punish him now. Not play him. You won't play him. You won't play him. You know he's not going to play him. He won't play next game anyway. He won't play next game anyway. Yeah, say. Oh, mean in the league. I know he won't play the FA Cup, but you got to play him in the league as well. You got to. I don't know. I don't know because is it suspension Premier League or FA Cup? Premier League. No league, league, league. 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 Right, okay. League league. You might be wrong against that because. Fucking Scott McTominay scored two against Brentford and then I've been out of the team since. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, game of the season. I just, like I say, I just don't think Penny is actually trying. dropped with Tenag. No, he hasn't. Ahmed, no. That's not home. Nah, it won't be, it won't be. It will be. It's still sample be size. Guys, the sample size is too big that this guy's an idiot. So, this is too big. Do you know what I mean? For me, I don't I don't think it was anything, any, any tactical genius from Tenag today either. Do you know what I mean? I think it was, he knew his job was on the line in this game. He just threw the kitchen sink at it, didn't he? Do you know what I mean? Just get all the attackers on. We only had one centre-back in the back, and that was Maguire. Yeah. Bruno was playing centre-back. We had left-back Maguire. Yeah. Uh, yeah. His subs didn't you know know he was playing left-back as well, do you know what I mean? And, We've been people we calling for a whole yeah, season, you see him. We had, we had a back four of Delo, Maguire, Bruno, Bruno and, Anthony, yeah. and a midfield That's of Ericsson. A fucking... <laughs> McTominay. When, when our midfield three hmm. at one point was Ericsson, McTominay and Bruno, I, sh- I thought, I, need, I better go home now. I thought, what the fuck is this? You make a great point, Ash. This manager does does not throw the kitchen sink at it enough. It, but when when we're in games and he's bringing on the fifth defender, and if even if we're drawing or we look we, like go for it. This is what Manchester United was always built on, especially in the Fergie era. Yeah. You take off a defender. When, when I, I actually went when he took Van off, and I went, huh? I, 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 yeah, I, yeah, I know. He doesn't do that, so I was like, yeah, what? yeah. But it worked, and and that's the I best. Didn't even thing, see like... Come on, because everybody. Yeah, was yeah because like, he's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know why he didn't see him? Come on, remember him. He's out there running him. laps, man. That's what he does, man. <laughs> just running laps. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah, man. yeah. Can't lie. Just running laps, man. Oh. That's what man does. I didn't really see him. Him. It's Paris what? Olympic soon. You know what I mean? Just chill. You'd be perfect for that. You should go try out for Team GB. You'd be fine for that. You know what, guys? You know what? We can't. I can't give the manager credit. Obviously, each to their own opinion. I can't give the manager credit because. This is what he has to do because this is the last chance for him to show that he can save his job. This is it. Without this competition, he's desperately holding on to going back into that room with them lot, Ineos, and saying, oh, I've got you an FA Cup. They might have made the decision already, but he has to. So for him, the pressurer mm. took a risk. And you know what? Yeah. Shame on him because he should have been taking more risk throughout the season. Because like even like yeah. we were talking about in the group chat, wouldn't we, Rhino? And we were saying, me and Musa, and we're saying... Um, like it's a shame. Musa was saying it's a shame we don't have an Ericsson type player to bring on and stuff like that. Of course, Ericsson's not going to play every game. He's not in there with that role. We don't have players that can come off the bench and perform because you don't rotate the squad. You don't give us a chance to keep people warm in this squad. Do you know what I mean? He will be more happy today that Anthony scored. Yeah, not the quality of goal of Ahmad. Yeah, even though it's a finish, but it's kind of hit and hope in a way. Let's be real. Like, he kind of spun and just thought, let me go for it, yeah? Oh, stop, and stop. Nah, Leon, stop that. Bro, it's, bro, it's no, not. Man, it's not it's is not it a well-worked man. quality goal? Let's not be stupid. Nah, it's not a well-worked quality John, goal. Which one's that what you're talking about? I think, around hit I think, I think you know, you know, you know what, Leon, I give Anthony credit for that goal, yeah? It's the same goal that Hoyland scored when he spun and hit it as well. It's the same yeah, type yeah. of goal. It was, yeah. goal. Also, it was going backwards, it's backwards, it's backwards as well. It's a, it was going it's a very good. It's, it's a it's a very good goal. Because if he did yeah. that more often and miss, we'd be much more complimentary. Yeah. The things that the team did today, we don't see. Hey, Wingo, how about if the ball goes into the box, spin and shoot? How about just try it? Yeah. Again, happen, try. Yeah. It's about effort. We don't happen enough. I don't remember. That's I'm the kind of goals we concede anything. as well. We yeah, can I don't more of a better striker today than anybody. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Up front was like, do something. You might just be out. Like, we're talking just about try, Mason Mount. Yeah. I forgot Mason Mount was on. Because you just go out there and he, he sums it up. Goes out there and you do nothing. You just out there running, just doing up cardio. That's all man's <laughs> doing out there. Do more. 
And they did that. Should tell, you, should tell you what was a quality goal, that Rashford goal, you know, McTominay feeds him through and he hits it first time. That was a nice yeah. goal. You, you want to see him in that position a little bit more. Not, not overthinking it, not taking multiple touches. Do you know what I mean? Just just smacks yeah. at it and it, it puts it away. It was, it was a lovely finish that from Rashford today. Yeah. I mean, he probably should have scored one, you know, right before the end. That should should have been a goal, obviously. But oh, yeah, that, that was a nice goal. All the goals were at the right time yeah. as well. Have you noticed, guys? Yeah. Before... Uh, extra time before in extra time and yeah. one at the end of yeah, extra yeah, yeah. time you know these like the, the goals were scored at the right time guys mm. and, and I'm not you know, saying the game the type of goals way. as well it's the placement yeah. that's what I'm saying Leon I feel like these goals were more placement goals you know which what it made is for me though do you know what it is for me I'm not, I'm not disputing that Anthony's goal he turns mm. and he puts it in the corner and it's nice because I like them goals when you finish on the floor and you don't like smash it like some of the guys do yeah. but I yeah. don't want to. I don't want to get too gassed and give too much credit. Do you know why? Because for me, the easiest way to break this game down is they wanted it more than the opposition. I don't see like massive mm. amounts of quality and patterns of play up front or anything like that. I just feel like, I'm, and I'm I'm happy they yeah. did it. I just glad that they wanted it more than the opposition. But but it's kind That's of it. too little, too late for me in the season for me right now because I like. You know what it is. You know what it is. But I'm happy. I, I'm I happy know what you mean. Gassed, yeah. But but you know what it is it? This this kind of today, yeah. I don't think it was gonna be the tactical masterclass because Liverpool had majority of the ball. At one point, I was scratching, thinking, are we gonna get the ball back? And I said to myself, you know what? Just get a goal, get a goal to make it extra time, get because get a goal to get to semi final. This is one of them in cup competitions. You have to just get far, and I wasn't really looking for a yeah, glamorous kind of performance. Game, yeah. I just wanted to beat the scousers by any means necessary. It, yeah. I did a video oh, yesterday. I don't know if you guys see my video. I said my final message. Yeah. I said, guys, you see it in it, Rhino? I think you said I you forgive him if he if he wins. Yeah, I think you're saying no, no, you I don't. Was it someone else? I watched. <laughs> <laughs> like, not, forg <laughs> not, forg <laughs> not forgive, not forgive him, not forgive him like he, like he's off the off the bat. But you forgive him like okay, you know what? I'll give you your credit. Like thank you, Tanner. I'll give you, you credit for it. Yeah, yeah, you perform yeah. in these big games. Yeah? yeah, I will always give you credit. Scousers and the Man City. Yeah. Go and win yeah. them two games. I swear down to you, Arsenal they mean too. more. And I, and I feel like for me today wasn't the most glamorous, but they came to our level. They came to our level, yeah, and I'm glad yeah. because you know it was it's a basketball game. They went on the other end, couldn't finish their dinner. We went on the other end. We then finished our dinner. It was like a basketball game, and that's what Liverpool don't do. Somebody they have it controlled. They know what they're doing, and they end up just destroying you today. They're shooting bits of off, Alhamdulillah, and we did the job. You know what I'm saying? So that's what kind of game it was. Let me just get these super chats here. Big up to knowledge says, you scouts bastards, uh, you scouts bastards, <laughs> F you quadruple, you big dippers. Hey, uh, big up to knowledge. The head your final people, message saying, there, there you go. Today's a day of celebration, but next show, there are a couple of players that I am cooking. Yeah, 100%, 100%. You know what I want to give you? Listen, a lot of people are not going to like it, but Garnacho today, for me, one of our best players Our in boy. the game. Him, Dalo, I think, who else was there? I think... Um, One second. D Double A, don't ever call him a bad boy. Don't do that. He was a bad boy. No, nah, nah, don't say bad boy. Yeah. No, 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 stop it. He was a bad boy. Yeah, yeah, dropping shoulders, beating men. Bro, he, bro he, come on. Balls guy, into the box, yeah, Mike, everything. Listen, Mike Lowry today. Listen, listen, Mike I want Lowry. everybody to listen. I, I want everybody to listen. <laughs> I always said, yeah, Kobe Mino as well. Kobe Mino, Dalo. You know what it is, yeah? You know what it is with me, yeah? I've always said with Guy Nacho, yeah? I know he hasn't got the ability of Ronaldo and all of these great players, yeah? But one thing about him, he doesn't, he doesn't stop running here, but his endeavour always showing. Like, he never let the right back or whoever was on that side, like, step Gomez. up once. He was always an outlet. Yes, he was a more of a threat than Rashford. Rashford's meant to be the bigger yeah. threat. Mm -hmm. And he became the threat that we needed off the break, on the break. I just said to people, yo, this guy was everywhere today. And that is something that I always have given Garnacho. I said, yo, get it. The abilities might not be there, but the endeavour... And the commitment, you cannot. He's a fighter. And I like that sometimes in a player. Yeah, like I said to you, McTominay might be a fighter, but he's actually meant to be a midfielder. He's meant to be giving the final ball. Whereas the wingers, the wingers are either a good quality or you show a bit of commitment and you show the endeavor to go running Probably, behind yeah. and do and cause danger. He does that. He causes danger by opening up a little space, uh, being a target and running in behind. That's what he gives you. And you know, he's a little oh, bit like what, what Diaz. Point? Like Diaz of Liverpool oh. today, do you know what I mean? That kind of player just the rest, yeah. do you know what I mean? And again, when you are direct and you have like the acceleration he has, you are going to cause problems. Because even the second goal, it was him. I think he over cutting inside. He overhit the touch, but then he's gone to shoot. 
And I think it deflected up, and then that's when Anthony span. I think it was the second goal. That yeah, I, was, yeah. I think so, yeah. And again, it ties back to what I said initially. That's just commitment and just will and just straight up effort. And that's what we don't see enough of. That's what we've mm-hmm. criticised Rashford for all season. When we talk about his lack of commitment, times we can actually don't stop. Like we know the yeah. the reason why I never expected a quality performance from much because we know the quality there's a lack of quality. Yeah, ah, you know how you can kind of make up for a lack of quality when you're playing a team that's better than you on paper. Effort. Mm-hmm. And like and Liverpool won mm-hmm. Liverpool were not at it today, and we wanted it more than them. And now we're through to the next round. Like so many times we see, like even when we was two one down or three two down. I wasn't mad. I was like, I can't fault the players today in regards to effort. This is just a lack of skill. Fortunately mm. enough, we managed to turn it around. I've been more annoyed when we've won games. At, at mm. times, we're watching because the performance hasn't been it. And we've just managed to score a couple of late goals and things of that nature. So that's where it stems from. Ganacho today, yeah, does he have his short come? Absolutely. We know the quality is lacking. Yeah, but lacking. today, I thought he, he was good today. He was an outlet. Again, bare minimum. Amazing. You do the bare minimum and try hard, and all of a sudden this you is get what you always say, flawless. The bare minimum, isn't it? The That's bare, why with me with Garnacho, yeah, with me with basics. Garnacho, he wasn't he wasn't unbelievable today. Come on, like that's not that's not overhyped because bro, he wasn't unbelievable. Bro, bro, you're he quite, had... this, this is the problem, United fans. Yeah, this is what really winds me up. Go on, and, then, go and, for it. And you, and you said it perfectly, Saeed, in your opening monologue. Yeah, he's not he's not Ronaldo. Who the fuck is Ronaldo? Like, why are you comparing I'm him? I'm, I'm not saying yeah. you know, this is what Saeed said. So straight away, people mm. are pitting him against. Arguably the best ever player that's ever played the game. He's 19 years mm. old. He's being overplayed in a shit team. He shouldn't be getting anywhere near the minutes he's getting. And for me, as a young player, he's outperformed what he should be doing right now. Like, he's not generational. Absolutely not. I'm not saying he's fantastic and he's going to be an elite football player. He could be a very, very good United player, which I think he can be. And he's shown today, like he was saying, the endeavour and the willingness to keep on going to get his, re- his rewards, which he did. But... He's still, like you said, the, the techniques are there or the quality's not there. He's still learning. He's still got a lot to do, a lot of growing. Not there, double A. It is there, not though. There. It is because we've, 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 we've seen it. I'm sorry. We've seen it. Me, me, me. He, he ran. Like, no, listen, entitled to your own opinion. Look, I'm not into the passion merchant play thing. That's just not my thing. I'm into tech. I'm not, so for me, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm the far, yeah, I'm you, the you, person. I'm not, not into the try hard thing. For me personally, yeah. I'm the third amount of times that you watch the ball today in areas. But when you do good, when you do, I'm not, I'm not a player FC person at all, and I'll call players out when I think the shit. But what I don't like, yeah, is when, young players are, yeah. when young players are coming through and doing a good job, fans are so quick to turn on them, say the shit, the shit shouldn't be in the team. Give him a fucking chance. Like it, he, he has had to play so much because our forward players who are more, that's it, more older than him Senior. and more experienced yeah. than him, have been shit. And can't do the job. Yeah. We've had to ship one off to Dortmund because he's a fucking crybaby. The other one's injured all the time. <laughs> they go there always. Oh, go. Let me just take my jacket. We'll go there. Minute. So, as a young player, let let him learn the game. If if in two, three, four years he's still doing the same shit, yes, absolutely, get rid. But for now, I think he's yeah. doing a great Simple. job as a young player, and I think he should be given a little bit of leeway in, in being a, a shining light of a, a really bad. Bad. And he's handling the pressure as well, isn't it? Double A, do you know what I mean? Not many players can handle this pressure at Old Trafford. How many times mm-hmm. do we see players come to the club and they will and they fail? Yeah, he's not the most technical, not, not the most talented. But you look at players like Jared Bowen and Saka, similar positions at similar ages, do you know what I mean? Not doing anywhere near what Garnacho's doing. You, you look, mm-hmm. Garnacho just needs a good coach and good decision making. And he'll be fine. He's, he, he'll go down as a, as, as a top class player. Maybe not world class, maybe not bad. But you need these kind of players around your squad to build around, do you know what I mean? You, you, you you shouldn't be looking at Garnacho like like he's not good enough because he, he's showing right now that he is good enough in the team and performances like that today we'll see more and more of those in big games. Like I said, not many players do do that performing big games. What Double A is saying there, we didn't see Sancho do it. Do you know what I mean? We've not seen many of us do it. Players like the Pie come to the club not being able to do it and stuff. Mm. Garnacho's doing it, doing it at a young age as well. For me, yeah, yeah. But, we've got Garnacho. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's it's Desimbo and Nacho. Has he done well today? Yes, I'm not going to take it out of context. He's done well today, yeah, but. Some of the points that you're making, I don't think are valid. Because like when we're saying like gotta give him a chance and rare rare, he's played 40, 50 games. And it's all and people are like, he's playing because the other players are not performing. He's playing because the manager's choosing to play him and to not play these players. Let's be real. Let's be a hundred percent real with it right now. Because everybody goes, Sancho's a crybaby, rare, rare, yeah. Like if we won't open the kind of wounds of the Sancho thing, but everybody knows my stance. I can't make a judgment on Sancho because I've only heard the manager's side. I haven't heard his side. 
So I can't start saying you're this year that rare. That's me, double A. That's me. Because you can look even, at him on the pitch, do you know the example I always use, bro? Fuck off in the double team. A. Fuck no, off. Double A because he's not played in the right. Trust me, the, oh, yeah, the kind of players he, we play around. He played left. He played right. He it's played nine. He played double ten. A. Double he's A. He played with Bruno and Rashford. Double A. He played with Bruno and Rashford. You know me. You just messed up yourself. You just messed up yourself. Say that. Sancho is a higher level player than Ganacho, and you've just used the excuse of the players around him. Okay. For ninety year old Ganacho, we can't do the same. That doesn't make sense. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. No, 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 no. Leon, Leon. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Has Ganacho? Has Ganacho disappointed anyone on this panel? Like, has he? Disappointed anyway. I don't think we where's this expectations come from? It's not that expectation. Can I tell you what it is? is? Can I tell you what it is? I just, what is I just I don't, don't understand. overhype him. It's just like what flawless flawless said is bang on the money for me. Yeah, he did the bare minimum. He's not so gonna be for me. This is just me, guys. You don't have to agree with what I'm saying in it. So why does Jaden get the excuse of Bruno and Rashford around him, but Ganacho doesn't? And <laughs> Jaden's got a higher high no, expectation. The, the manager's catering, but, catering for Garnacho, but he's yeah, not catering for Sancho. But Saeed, when you, for Garnacho today, like, but, but but Saeed, when you mentioned when you asked the question and you say, Oh, where does the expectation come from him? Forget age, you're playing for Manchester United. Exactly. I've already been in agreement and said, mm. is he in the worst possible predicament? Absolutely. Is he playing under the one of the worst possible managers? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. The players around him, I hear all of that. But you still yeah. need to perform to a level because when you look at Mayno, we can all sit here and say, Mayno's mm. a player. Mayno is Mayno's a special, special Mayno talent. Of a and yeah. again, that should be the aim. And I use, I said this last week. Do I think Ganacho has his uses with his mentality? Because I think that's the best thing about him is he has the right yes. mentality. I never see him yes. stop trying and stop making runs and Endeavour will get you so far. Mm. But and then eventually you For need the, the quality level. to go with it. And yeah, but that's we're not at that wait, next wait, level. No, no, no. no, 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 no you need that the, to be called. The point I'm making is, can, can he get there and the aim should be so? If Ganacho was in another shirt, he was playing for someone else in the Premier League and he was performing like how he's performed for Manchester United. I've used, I said this last week, use Chelsea as an example, a team that are also performing poorly. We would not be clamouring to sign him. There would be oh. no talk no, about... No, 19 years old, I don't know. Uh, and eight, no, 19 no, years no, old, no, I didn't see him. You know what I mean? No, no, he scored no, up. It's, it's, you're making excuses for him. If Ganacho was playing, we're doing it with Eze. Eze is 22 and got the similar again, similar no, output. Do you know what I mean? No, 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 no. Not Eze, Elise. Elise, but Elise has performed to a better level than Ganacho at Palace. He's way more. He's definitely she's shown more. Let me let me ask let me ask Andy Tate. Let me ask Andy Tate. Andy Tate, what do you think about Ganacho? Don't get the kick, guys. Don't relax. Do you do you think do you think fans should? Should should obviously you know what I mean like you know is it expectations too much? Is it just one of them seasons where you know we're not at the place where we need to be? What, what do you think, man? Um, Andy, what's your I point of view? Still enough from Ganacho to know he's a, he's a star for the future in this team, and I I, I know he's going to be all right, mate. He's going to be there in this team. He may may not be a will beater, but he could have the potential to be. Like the, a will beater could be the next Messi for all we know. I am no one's got a crystal ball. It's it, it's all in his hands. So yeah, and, and he is ten times a player than more than, than Jane Sancho. Sorry guys, that's my opinion, and we all we all have respectable opinions, and that's mm. it. Yeah, no, that's fine. You know, you know what it is with me. Like I said, yeah, because like, obviously I don't want it to be the whole segment. Yeah, yeah I just it's definitely, it's definitely going to be the whole segment. <laughs> it's definitely no, without like, doubt going to be the whole segment. <laughs> next season, next season, if 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 Garnacho is a face of what we do, that's when I'll have questions. Yeah. I'll be like, you know what, Ten Hag or whoever's in charge, I'd be like, you know what, mm, not but sure, I'm not gonna lie but, to you. That's where I'm at with it, though, Saeed. It's not the fact that, like, yes, you're you're a young age, you can improve, but we still need you. We can't wait around for you to get good in the first eleven. We can't. Yeah, we yeah, can't yeah. wait around. Like you've played a lot to know where we have an idea of where his level is at exactly. now, and we and obviously mm. potential is tough to gauge. But we've watched enough mm. where you can kind of gauge it. Of course, could he some shock us all and become a world class player? Yes, I think that would be a shock. Do I see that happening personally? No. Do I think he can be a part of a of a good squad? Yes. But do I want yeah, him starting week in, week out on the left-hand side oh, for where no. we're trying to go to? Right now, in my opinion, no. If he improves... Okay, okay, okay. And I, 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 hold on, hold on. I've seen enough on the yeah. youth team over the years. And then mm. my dad got used to go to yeah. Carrington. I've seen enough on the, mm. to know Garnacho is mm. a, a generational talent. Maybe not on the level of Ronaldo or Messi, but he's a talent. It's gonna, it's, yeah. it's up to him. See, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I disagree I with that. that. Final. Yeah. I was at that youth cup final, and he ran, yeah, he yeah, ran the show, and we won it three yeah. one. 
It is a step up, though, Andy. It is quite a big step up. Do you know what I mean? No, no, no. Oh. Let me let me say something, Neil. Before it, you come, it, before you come, you two, it's up to him to, to take it to the next level. Then it's he obviously can't I, I respect it. your opinion. Only I just... know what he wants. Yeah, obviously, I you respect what, you your opinion. I, I just don't see like all of the attributes that show me a thing. But that's me. If he proves me wrong, but yeah, I by nineteen, honestly, you don't I, see the attributes, Leon. You see, look at look at Salah. Look at Salah at nineteen. Do you know what I mean? Salah was yeah. a rumor, but I wouldn't be. You, sat, look, you look at a lot. Let's say let's sign Salah at nineteen. It's about the level. Mayno showing us at his age. Exactly. The age well, I'm not, convinced not by Mayno. Yeah. I'm convinced by. Wait, can I clear up this age? But how many how many players? Me, bro. Let me clear up this age. Go right now. Listen, look, right look, 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 Mandan, look. I love all the Mandan. Listen, yeah, look. <laughs> you like to jump. Yeah, we love you, bro. Yeah, yeah. Can you start with them? Yeah. 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 yeah, I love everyone. Mandan, yeah. yeah. I love what I'm trying to say is that there's different categories of age. I get that uh, menu is the bar that we need to set, and that's the standard we want minimum, but we have to be realistic. When people start saying, oh, but Ronaldo at 19, or Rooney. Rooney's and Ronaldo's don't come every day, you know. Kobe Mainu's don't nah. even come every day like that. So we need to understand that there's people that are ready and born for it, there's people that need to be developed, and there's people that maybe have potential. I just think he's showing enough for us not to write him off. And that's why I get so defensive, and that's it for me. That's why when I'm kind of, everyone's talking and everyone's getting at him, I'm just smiling because... I know Leon will be love to prove lo Leon will love to be proved wrong. I understand 100%. that, but I just feel like it's just too harsh. I feel like we're just quick to shut it down so much when there's so many other bigger issues at the club with bigger players issues. that we expect more. Like we Bruno. expect more from Rashford. You know, you know what I write? You know, do we? Not and Acho in their, in their not sound. now, yeah, but in yeah, general, so, uh, you know, yeah. they, they would love him. What? What? You know, I, can I go back to my point? Can I go back to my point? Double A, double A. My oh. thing is, before I let you go, my thing is, yeah, Garnacho for this season makes sense, yeah. And next season, you you would assume Man United would have a player who's probably more ready in the development stage than having Garnacho on the that's wing it. week in week out. That's so, no, where I'm at with it. So that, that's yeah, where yeah. that's where I believe United. Should and I hope they will get to next season. If he's starting and Ten Hag's still here, then obviously it becomes a little bit of a problem. But for now, while we're at this stage right now, where I'm still seeing McTominay, I'm still seeing Wambisaka left back. I don't want to be seeing that, even though it worked today. Yeah, that bad, I don't want to be seeing I mean, that. I don't want to be yeah. seeing a midfield that's disjointed. I don't want to be seeing Lindelof at the back. I don't want to. I don't want to be seeing Rashford up front when we're when we're when yeah, we're having you, you, you can just name the whole team. You can just get the list. <laughs> <out> <laughs> what what I'm saying. Name players, so, I don't want to see. Hey, trust me. I don't. Trust I don't want to see that happen. But what I will hmm. say is though, for now it makes sense. But next season you must improve. That's all it is. Yeah, and I feel yeah. like that's going to be the situation that. with this team. We just and have to fair. praise them when they do well. And when they do shit, we call them out. But majority of the time, we know what we stand with these players. Majority of these players, we know where we stand with them. It's just right now. Is surviving to the end of the season, like mm. maybe we're surviving this manager. It could be that situation. Yeah, but for me not. now, whatever you, whatever I say right now about certain players, yeah, it's just in the moment. And like I said to you, obviously, Garnacho is different. Where I feel like he's a young kid, but every other player, everyone knows my position on them. Whether I think they're good enough and whether I think they're not good enough. Like I said, it's going to be one of them where you know we have to ride it out until until then. You know what I mean? And that's all it is. Can I just so, clarify one thing? Because obviously people, when I say that, they're going at your thing. People think I'm just yeah. like, dashed out and, and that sort of thing. I'm, I'm looking at it like, you can probably tell by the way, I'm, I'm not like a reactionary person. Like I do look at things quite deeply and stuff like, below the surface level, yeah? If this kid is too overhyped yeah. and he doesn't perform to the standard, one of the reasons why he's playing right now quite a lot is because of his marketability as well as a player. He's in the top five mm. list for shirt sale at United. I don't know if anybody knew that oh. he's in. That's in the Premier League, actually. Yeah, they're marking him mm. with his haircut and merchandise and rara. So I just got to be careful in my mind for where I see this team going and mm. what kind of players that we need in this squad to play, um, mm. what's the word? Like a coherent style of football that is sustainable to get results mm. consistently and to play better for 90 mm. minutes. I can't overhype him until I see more. Do you know what I mean? I really can't because, I hate like, I, I was that. watching today. Do you know what came off my phone this morning? That Rooney kid from Copenhagen came up this morning, yeah, and I was watching some clips on him. The quality of him at 18, and I'm giant. I'm not saying I'm comparing, but do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, hey. um, me and Flawless talk about it a lot, and Adam, hey. I always forget what Adam says, yeah? Players that oh. don't even do the flashy overhead kick stuff that that would have took that ball today, and I'm not, I'm, he played well today. Um, wouldn't have wasted as many chances and would have got us goals to kill the game off in 90 minutes. So that's oh. kind of where I think when I'm going into this. So it's not just a hate or an age thing. I do think, you get what I'm saying? And I just don't see it. But 
don't want to do the whole gun at you for time. And I know double A, I'm hurting you right now, bro. I hear it. No, no, no. Yeah. no. This is this is double A. Last comment, and then we we'll move on. Yeah, this is the only thing I would say. It, it's, it's all about progression. Has he progressed from last season? His very first season, absolutely. This season, he's been better than last season, and that's why I look at it. And what you're saying, say, is absolutely right. If he is performing the exact same next season as he is this season, then he should be nowhere near the first team. And like we always say on this show, when you bring in players in, it's to be better than the people that are already starting. Yes, we should be getting an Elise or someone of that quality that's going to push him to be better. That's what we want, players to push each other so they become mm. better. At the moment, he's playing because the people that should be ahead of him are not performing. And so that, and that, the that in there lies the problem, issue. double a. Exactly. Yeah, and, that, and that's what that the, in there like, lies the main problem. issue is that mm. it, it, mm. I don't like these young players or these players that are coming from the academy that have been here 10 years that are fucking shit and, and inconsistent and still doing the same things. McTominay is going to be that player. He's 27 years old, yet people want to keep him as a squad player. And yet That's we'll crazy. get Angarnacho's back because he's 19 years old and he's trying his best. I'm not, I, I don't agree. I don't think he's generational at all. And I don't think he was, he played well for the youth teams, but he was never someone that everyone was like, you know, it wasn't a main who it wasn't a player that we thought, oh my god, he's gonna be the next big thing. He was a good young player and he's done stuff, he's done enough in that first season to to you know to people he almost got in the World Cup squad for, for Argentina, rightly or wrongly. That that's just nearly almost what happened. For me to write him off so young because I'm not made, writing him off, by the way. No, no, I'm not saying you are, but there's an agenda against him that people think he's absolutely shit and should be playing for United. Like people in the chat, he should be on loan, but I think to do that so soon at 19 years old, and I'm not I'm using the age thing to say he's he's massively still in his development stage. And and yes, a Maynu, a Ronaldo, a Rune, people develop at different times, different style, quickness, whatever. For me to start saying now he shouldn't be nowhere near the first team, I definitely don't think he should be starting every week. But that's the mm. failing of Manchester United. Mm. But for me, I've seen enough in these for in these two seasons for me to be happy enough for him definitely to be a first team player in the squad at Manchester United for sure. Can I just finish by saying, do you know why, do you know why as well? I say this quite openly as well. Where I don't rate, like, I don't think he's up to the level It's because I want to see Ahmad play more. And I've seen it today. It's proven mm. to me that I want to see, I'd rather him have the minutes that go on. That's just me, but I'd, I'd rather have, I'd rather have, I'd rather have da, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, 100%. What, 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 time, Saeed, what time did he come on today? He came on late, innit? Yeah, 86 minutes. That, 86 that, minutes, obviously. Yeah, I think he knew, he must have he knew that, you know what I mean? In that time, yeah, eight third. Yeah, I'm gonna read a couple of super chats here. Big up to old C night. What says why is tech fraud uh, talking about my gunners in his post match? It's been six months living in his head rent free. I don't know. I didn't see the press conference to be honest with you. I think all he said was the stars were aligning for Arsenal, but I could be wrong. Go on, carry on. Okay, okay. I'm agreeing with Sancho, Rashford, Ante, all better than natural cheese. Uh, are we not happy that we have young talent, natural class? AJ does question does Galato deserve and my man, obviously, Leon. Just uh, commented there, so big up to Book of they Eli. They both should be starting, to uh, be honest. Yeah, we both. Yeah, you play Ganacho from you play Ganacho from the left and Diallo from the right. If we, they shouldn't really yeah. be Rash, competing Rashford for the same right. position, yeah, Rashford's the yeah. one that shouldn't be in general, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, Zotex says Sancho at 18 night was ripping Champions League Dortmund. I'll start in left with us five goals in 26. Nacho cheese isn't good enough. Am says PR merchant Mount came on and clearly wasn't fit. It's 110 minutes on the clock. And McTominay is still our young, are your is your only pressing option. Make it make sense, please. Guys, 1.4k in the building. Make Ooh. sure you not smash the like button on the video. I want to give mention to Dalo, man. Listen. Big Dalo, I can't lie to you, man. <laughs> you know what, man? McTominay, listen, we'll, we'll I think we'll try to give for us this a second segment. McTominay, so don't worry. <laughs> yeah. But Dalo, man, listen, don't shake it. Down down the the you know? Shut down the ass. He, he locked up Diaz, man, for, for large parts, bro. Let's I'm be saying best right back Diaz. in the league on form, man. <laughs> bro. I say, can I ask listen, you a question? Better. Actually, who's better? Yeah, go on, go on. So I can ask you a question. Two years ago, do, who, who, who rated Dalo two years ago? I never rated Dalo ever. No, go on. on what level? All right, cool. No, no, no. And that's this is my thing. I, I'm this is I'm not saying this because I'm against Dalo or anything. I'm just putting what I'm about to say into context. And this is what I'm saying. You don't know how a player's gonna be right now. Dalo's playing out of his skin, and we're all shocked and Bro, we're loving it. Two man. years ago, you wouldn't have seen it. We, yeah, you know what I mean? 
it's, it's, do you get what I'm saying? So I get what that's you're saying, right yeah. But it is form is temporary, class is permanent, and I like that though. I'm yeah, saying. that's true. As well. that's I true just as well. think I think in the modern day game, as a fullback, you have to excel either offensively or defensively. And even though he is yeah, currently yeah. playing well in terms of form, in particular defensively, I don't think he offers you enough going forward. That's just mm, me though, yeah. as a fullback, because fullbacks are any system you play, fullbacks are key. In particular, in the final third, or even just getting the ball forward, build have up you, attack and final third. That's have you, me, have you noticed Ten Hag's had to make him inverted now and bring him right into the midfield for him to to flourish in this team? I'm not listen. I, I'm not going to start an agenda again. Like listen, he's been fantastic today. Yeah. He was unreal. I, I ain't going to take anything yeah, away from him. I respect. And and and, he, and it's mad to say people like player of the season when it's like. They've been shit. You can't. They shouldn't. No one should even get a play with a season this year because it's been that bad. I mean, the only person I put close to him is yeah. is uh, is Varane because I think Varane has been consistency. Yeah, right. Palo's got to be in there. Colossus. I think yeah, there's no one else. Yeah. So I, I think, think there's Varane no one else. Really so I think he has to get it. Holland, if he gets a few more goals, potentially you could start to look at it. But it's been too far in the season that he won't get it. Mm. So, listen, I think the low today was. Unbelievable! I can't. I won't take nothing away from him at all. And listen, Warrior, I, man. I agree. I agree. I don't. I don't think he is. I don't think he's going to be a world class fullback. I would like to get someone else who I think could be better. Oh. But for me, again, it's again we bring someone in who's better. I, I'm willing to wait on that position. I think I for me, well. I'm willing no, to give him one more season. Yeah, I think for me, I don't need world class players in every position. Right That's exactly Ash. Just yeah. that point there, flawless. If you just go in, flawless just says it better than me. Yeah, people get. I always say this on streams. Yeah, everyone wants world class in every position. You just need seven out of ten in some positions, and that's what he's yeah. providing right now. Never was never the best word right back in the world. Come yes, on. he was the best in the league though at one point. But he, he just consistently, he was never like anything yeah. special. He was pretty at times. He was, do you know what I mean? He was very, yeah. very, very consistent. He's not going he forward. Wasn't like, he was a great outlet. He's a great outlet. Going forward. He's a brilliant Constantly defender. out of 10. No, yeah. he wasn't like, he well, was fantastic. blah, blah, blah. Now leave that one, Leon. Right. It ne oh, never yeah. was decent. Neville doesn't yeah, get Neville the respect they need. Neville was like, you you don't get past Neville. And, and, and he used to whip a ball in as well. He, he, Neville was, Neville's underrated. I would man. say he's like seven off and consistently eight. So consistent. No, he was a consistent eight. Consistent eight. You'd never get like fives out of him, six out you know what I'm saying? That like all the time, minutes. Mm. So that's what I like about what Flawless says is where it's like there are some positions in this squad, and this is why this summer we need to look at more players who are like who are playing consistently like Delo, because that's how the squad will build and go to the next level, the top four. You can't buy mm. what we've been doing before by like two world beaters and. Well, I don't. Want, I don't want people to jump off a cliff with Delo because he has to be. He has to do this again next season because I don't think he, he has to improve. Back. He has to, yeah, again, yeah, yeah. the same with Garnacho. He has to improve. If he can improve, and that's my point, um, double A. That's why people think I'm, I'm slandering Dallo. I'm not. No, I'm no. saying the same way we gave Dallo a chance, and now we're seeing the fruits of the labor. It's the same way next year Garnacho could be even better. So, my whole point is the way we're looking at Dallo now, we weren't looking at Dallo like that two years ago. So, that's what I was saying. Yeah, really we're done with the Garnacho chat now. Allow it now. No, hey, my, my, my whole point of the Dallo point needed... was to back up my Garnacho point, yeah. literally. That's what it was. But we still yeah. need an improvement. He's 25 today, isn't it? But 100%. Yeah. We still need, we still He's 25 need now. I like that. He's 25 now. I like that. I like Dallo, but we need an improvement. Still young now. 25 tomorrow. 25 tomorrow. But we can't be waiting around the players. Yeah. That's the problem. We can't be yeah. waiting around. Like, yeah. who's waiting? City don't wait around for players. You know what I'm saying Real Madrid don't wait. The teams who I, I just use those two teams as examples. When you're competing for top honors, who who have we, when United was successful, who did we wait for to get good? Either you are it or you're not. Like that's yeah. what it has to be. We talk well, about not. cutthroat yeah. off the pitch. We have to be cutthroat also on the I pitch. So that's why you say you say that. Though. That's we that's we, we had a lot of players that were waiting for to get good. You say you say yeah. that, but look, we 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 were winning titles with cleverly and fucking Gibson. Yeah, because, and yeah, because we, 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 we had were, the rough. They were, they were never mainstays though. There's no time yeah. we won a league title and cleverly was starting as much yeah. as Ganacho starting now or Gibson. They were a part of the squad. Yeah. We didn't yeah. wait. There's no yeah. like people twenty twelve and Anderson. Yeah, like they they weren't start. I bet if we check cleverly starts in the Premier League, it was under twenty. Mm. If someone does that, that's the point. Awesome. Making, but, but, but you say that. Well. I mean, you go back to like Beck, Beckham. Beckham in his early days. Do you know what I mean people? Was, and same with Skulls and a few of the other lads. Do you know what I mean? You know, they, oh, yeah, they, they eventually but, grew into it. it, 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 yeah, it they weren't superstars it. at the start. Same, same you know, with they, but, same with Neville. Same with. The, but, like, they, but, uh, but we're going back. You know, ancient yeah, we're going times, back Yonkers, but, and they were all hmm. better than Ganacho is now in terms of level. Skulls was spoken about highly 
coming through. Mm. Same with Beckham. Same with Nicky. But all of these mans mm. were because our our because of this class of ninety two, our youth our youth system and youth systems in particular in this country are vastly overrated because it doesn't produce the first team ballers in general. How many first team ballers have we had in the in the past twenty years? Rashford. You can throw Lingard in the mix. Greenwood. Ganacho well, Ganacho now four in twenty years. It doesn't produce at the rate it does. Like, can it produce professional footballers who play in the Premier League and Championship and League One? Absolutely. But if we're trying to get to the creme de la creme, should the aim not be the top? I'm sorry, I'm not trying to see Ganacho and Delo starting week in, week out. We trying yeah. to go toe to toe with City and Liverpool and go into the Champions League against Real Madrid's and 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 PSGs and Bayern Munichs and all these teams. And I'm sorry, we talking about Ganacho and Delo. Is this where we're at? They don't start for Flawless. those teams. Flawless. What do you think about? Because obviously. A lot of United fans cool. think it's FIFA this summer and we're going to do 10 in, 10 out. But I think it's mm. going to be 4 or 5 maximum, yeah? Of course. And like, do you think that he's one of maybe, I don't know, 4 or 5 players in the squad where you go, okay, in the future, season after next, I'm going to look to move you on. But you're one that can actually just stay for now. We've got more important... Talking about Delo here. I like yeah, Delo. I think Delo is a brilliant... You know what I think Delo is? I think he's a, he can be a phenomenal squad player. Yeah, yeah. Because he Good can player. play right back, left yeah, back. Yeah. He has the physical attributes okay. in terms of athleticism. Mentality is spot on. Because one thing, we've questioned commitment of mm. a lot of these players. You don't question that. He's technically good enough to the point where if you've got an injury, at, both your left-backs are injured. Or oh, the low is more than capable you of playing left-back. Yeah. You your first-choice right-back is playing. Or oh, your first-choice right-back is injured. The low can play like he did at home at, to, to Liverpool. But what I'm saying is, week in, week out, is the low the guy for where we're trying to go to, in my opinion? No. That doesn't mean he's a bad player. We're looking for the top 1% of the top mm. 1%. It's practically yeah, but, yeah, but you don't sign the top one percent, do you? Flawless. I mean, you, no, you go back you to you go back to Liverpool. It. Look, Robertson mm. at Hull. Do you know what I mean, I had yeah. to improve. You look at Van Dijk mm. at Celtic and and then Southampton. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You look at like look, Salah. Salah was was done for Chelsea. Do you know what I mean? They, they were, so so these players they develop and sometimes they play too play. much better. Yeah, they do. But that my point is. Van Dijk didn't get signed by Liverpool and then develop into the Van Dijk he's seen. He was elsewhere. Liverpool signed him and then he became Van Dijk. Same with Alisson. Yeah, but, yeah, but Rob Robertson did it. And, and you could Robertson, say... It's... That's a prime example, like Robertson. But again, this ties into having a system that fits in the manager. Because Robertson, at that level, Robertson, when he... That first... Dallow's never had a season for us Robertson, like Robertson's had for right. Liverpool. Because no. you go back, you go back to the idea of do we sign oh. like world class players again? I mean, we, we've we've tried to do that over the last no, like five six want, years. No, no, no. That's the thing is, I don't want world class players. I just want talented players. Mm. I want more yeah, talented. I get it. Players. You know what go and get go and get skill. Go and get players who fit obviously a style, but mm. skill. If we if we mm. let's say all the players, all our players left and was elsewhere, how many of these players are we looking to sign back to fit a system? Exactly. Very few. I'm sorry. I'm not. You know going, what it is, though. Going to get the low organizer. That's just me, though. But yeah, go and say. So, 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 what do we do then? Because for me, yeah, to go and spend money at the right back, you're then gonna um, let go of buying midfielders, isn't it? Like I, I'm looking mm. at it from point of view. I want a left back so badly, mm -hmm. but on the right back situation, even though I don't rate Dalo to the left that everyone else rate him, mm -hmm. I'm willing to give him another year season, because yeah. I don't want to waste another sub another another mm -hmm. transfer on a right back. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've got bigger issues I, to sort I, out. The low, should be going the low should be going nowhere. It's yeah, it's Wamba Saka yeah. that will be going. So if Wamba yeah, yeah. Saka goes, we yeah. have to cover it with, with a right back. Yeah, yeah. Left back, left yeah. back is yeah. trouble because big batty Shawnee, big, batty big batty Shaw needs to get out. I'm saying, hey, yo, hey, yo, 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 and, and you say you just wait a second. I just need to process what you've just said. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, oh. Full on wagging is dragging. Like it's a <laughs> hey yo. He it's was like he left the stream, yo. He was, like, he was like enough is enough. It's what it is. Man hobbled off, you know. You got man hobbling <laughs> one leg. <laughs> That's getting clipped. Uh, it's what it is. Um, Do the walk off. Uh, <laughs> man the man said like big batty sure that is yo that is wild yo hey yo <laughs> we got we, we got to be in for that eight nori at wolves though do you know what i mean 22 year old yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. we got to be in for him go get kirk has eight nori robinson yeah. robinson for fulham I mean, robinson for fulham when we talk about prioritizing certain positions and this is what the hierarchy and the board are supposed to do and in in charge of recruitment people always act not people on the stream but i see fans say oh you can't just go and spend 200 million you don't necessarily have to spend big to sign quality 
if your scouts doing what they're supposed no. to and your recruitment team is, you can find bargains out there. There's players yeah, playing football. There's a big worldwide, there's a big whole world with players playing in every country across all Fact. continents. How about you do your job Fact. and go locate these players? Because the guarantee there's a central midfielder right now none of us are talking about. Next summer, people are talking about this guy being 100 million. Caicedo just went for 100 million the summer before. Where was he before he was in Brighton? Ecuador. They don't even have his stats on Wikipedia. So what are we talking about? And in a seat in 18 months, man's True. gone for 100 million. So if Caicedo can be found, go find Caicedo. A doggy who most regard, arguably the best left back right now currently in the Premier League. I'd say he is, but arguably, let's say he's not. He's top two, top three. Mm. Where was he? He was in Udinese. Who was talking about a doggy? How much did how much did Spurs sign him for? So there's players out there. You just have to how go much, local. How much did they get him for, by the way? After it was cheap. I'm not even sure, but I know it wasn't there. Who's that? Who's that? If you would know. Uh, and and what's his name? Udogi. Adogi. Who was talking about Adogi this oh, time? Yeah, you did easy. Yeah, you didn't you didn't came from a mid-table Serie A team. Who was mentioned? Nobody was talking about. You know what? Million. United will sign a 15 million. Uh, and he's clear of any left back we've we have right now, he's, or he's any left back. So they got loads of time. 19. Oh, when we're talking about real. age, 19. Someone who's hit the and he's not in the best possible team. Look at some of them players mm. he's playing with there at Spurs with a new manager. What are we talking about? Same way with Van der Ven. No yeah. one were mentioning Van der Ven. How much do they yeah, both? Mm. I'm just using those two as examples. So there's quality out there. And how much was Van der Ven? Probably 20, 30 million. So they've signed two players for their back four for under 50 million. So if Spurs can do it, yeah. we don't have our resources and don't have our pulling power. How come Manchester United can't do it? If Spurs can, just, can do it. Can I just add to that as well? Well, this is idiot, isn't it? Rise. Yeah, I was Dude, just going to add to that before you come inside. That's what I think. That's what I've come to terms with hurts us this season when we watch the team because we're like trying to cook up a recipe and we've not even got half the ingredients. And it's like, yeah. like imagine someone like says literally they're going to cook you like a nice cake and that. And then you know, like when people don't have the right ingredients, it just tastes nasty, isn't it? Like, so, like, in the day, yeah, yeah, yeah. we flawless is so right because we get them competent ballers. And you, I think people get fascinated with like players sometimes in the prem or like 50, 60 million. And there's people out there for 10, 15 million who can bring you a seven, seven and a half performance every week and will be hungry to play for the club. So I agree, Flawless, because like this uh, summer, the type of profile in the midfield that we're missing is is for all of us to see every single week. I mean, it must hurt you guys going to the yeah. ground and watching. Even today, guys, like we played, we won the game, we wanted it more. There were times where they were just walking through us like it was like... Yeah, you know, big oh, that's second half. That's, that's oh, what it was. Who was the right back? We just literally just walked through everybody. What through like mm. Gomez, Gomez, he's a Gomez, yeah, Gomez, mm. yeah. It was awful. Second half, second half was one of them where I was like, damn man, it was painful to watch. Oh, we were yeah. walking around, we didn't have a plan. That's why when Anthony came on, he gave us a little bit of a lift. And the guy could have scored a hat trick, you know. The guy had some good opportunities, you know. He's man had the first. The he was, he was like, and then when, mm. we, when we played him left back out, I made a tweet, yeah, saying, yo, give Anti the ball. He looks dangerous. And then he only played left back. But I thought Anthony when he came on, gave us that little bit of a lift, man, because then Ahmad came on and we started to press up a little bit better. But, bro, man, seriously, that that, that second half was very, very painful mm. to watch until that goal, man. Because well, shout, shout out to Rhino as well, yeah, who's the fortune teller. He did tell us six months ago, Anthony would play left back, in it? So, big up Rhino, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 so big up Rhino. You know what? But big up traps here. This He wants us to talk about McTominay, in it, man. <laughs> Andy, That's start with you, McTominay. Got the goal, got an assist, apparently, as well. Um, yeah, man. McTominay, even though for me, his overall game stinks, though. But he got he got the goal. Big, big goal. Scott McTominay, you know what I mean? He's there for the goals. Um, and yeah, man. I still don't like the fact that he's playing number 10 role, which is just, yeah, it's crazy. But with the pressure and the work rate, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, um, you can't deny that, man. But what do you think of McTominay? His, his price is increasing for the summer. That's all that matters, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? His price is going up. Leon looks like he's going to throw up. <laughs> just, you know, that type of player, like, it's just... One thing I'll never get over with McTominay is just when we're when we're tr in transition to defend and people just, like, like run, like, five yeah. yards parallel to him and he's just... No attempt to... Do you know what I mean? But at the end of the day... Mm. I can't give too oh, much yeah, credit yeah, to yeah. the goal because that's just... He's a, co he a cone in transition. Not... you like me out there. Yeah, he's a cone. Yeah, 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 yeah,
I've could have had a goal there, man. Or at least I'm so getting in behind him. Like he just can't play that pass. But in front of goal, this guy is a striker. You can tell why he's a he's a striker when he grew up from. He's the got the instinct, Tony. Yeah, he's got the instinct to be at the right place. And like I said, he could have had a second goal, got blocked, I think, off the line. Oh, man, that um, shot yeah, killed me, you know, where he just tried to side foot. It's like, brother, just place it in the bottom corner, man. Do you know what I mean? But he doesn't oh, have that quality. Man. Doesn't, he doesn't do that quality. But yeah, man. Andy, what do you reckon, man? McTominay, what are you saying, Andy? Uh, I, I, I sit on the fence. <laughs> he's, he's, he just, he's a moment player. He'll mm. do it one or two games, then he'll go for yeah. missing for six, seven, eight, nine games. But... It's in his locker. He's he's just not constantly at it, week in week out. He's not. He's 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 just a bit player in the part of a squad. If he wants to stay and be a rotate a useful part of the squad, that's fine. Yeah. But if we want to get somewhere, do something, you, you're going to need a player that's doing it week in week out in the Premier League. Who's strong? Who's committed? Who who, who doesn't slack off and disappear? Mm. I mean, after he yeah. scored, after he could have made that two nil, and you know it could have been a, a completely different game going in at two, two nil up instead of two nil down, uh, two yeah. one down. So it, it's it's one of those. It's where do you stand with him? I, I really don't know. So if if any of us want to get serious, maybe like you say, you gotta you gotta you gotta uh, oh, ruffle a few. Down. Feathers in the bird cage, you know what I mean. You got like you say, if you're a cat, you got to take down a few budgery guards and like just spit them out. Like, seriously, like you got to take them out. You know what yeah. though? He's he's a big asset. You know, he can generate a lot of straight cash for us. You know, he needs to. Ash is right, man. Times right, right to sell now. You yeah, yeah. Thirty five million in Bayern Munich, maybe last year. Bayern Munich. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, Tuchel's stupid enough to sign. Yeah, if Tuchel's still there, yeah, Tuchel signed Dial. So you know what? He's stupid enough to sign. So I was interested. We all know what I think on Scott McTominay, but I think it's I've just had to come to the realization now that he is just going to stay. He's just again. You know, it's it's the wrong type of. We'll be having this conversation again next season during the season. Well, it, it's oh, the God. wrong type of youth. Surely you not. Surely not. You, you, you know, you know we're we're behind will. because of the the passion he runs around, he gives a shit and all that. And listen, I'm not gonna take anything away. This season, he he has stepped up to the plate where other players have failed to do so. And yeah. in moments, though, in, in moments, in not in moments. He can't he can't put a 90 minute performance together because he's not a technically gifted footballer. Is it? He's he's a poacher. Seven minutes performance. He's Mick Fellaini. He's Mick Fellaini. That's all he is, and that's all he's ever been. Mick Fellaini, mate. That's that's what he is. And where where I stand now is I have to believe in the structure, the structure that's coming. It are eventually mm. going to get players in that will make him obsolete within this team. That he can no longer play because we have too many good footballers that are pushing the likes of Manu. That are pushing the likes of yep. the players that we that are good in the team, and then that's why I talk about players that can push the low or whoever it may be. The the point where McTominay is going to sit there, tw- you know, even if he's twenty, he's twenty seven now, 27, 28, 29, thinking, well, I'm not going to play anymore because I I cannot get ahead of these players because they're too good. That I'm nowhere near them on on a training pitch, let alone a football pitch. I think. It's wasted energy thinking that he may go. On. I don't think he'll. I don't think we'll sell him in the summer. I think, I he'll, think he'll play the semi final. Really? Really? Do you guys really think that? I, 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 I genuinely think the club love him. I, I don't think there's any reason for. Yeah. You know why we need to sell him though, double A for the FFP. We need he helps to, yeah. out massively with the FFP. But this is this is the problem that we find that they want to get rid of Varane and Casemiro, who I, Leon was talking about players I would keep for 18, 12, 18 months. It's those two mm. because. Fuck the money. Mm. If the only reason you're getting rid of him is money, then nothing's changed with Sir Jim coming in than yeah, it was him. Exactly. Yeah, he, yeah, nothing he, changes. For, like for, me, for me, Varane has been, I think, unreal this season. He went on the I'm, I'm on corners well. today, clearing everything today, weren't it? Beat the injury problem mm. allegations. You know, the fact he got injured the other week, came on and played against, um, for, yeah. played, played Forest and then played the game after that. He's beaten that. And I would love Warrior. him to say, and co- if we get two centre backs in the summer, Tadebo or uh, Branthwaite, whoever it is, he is going to teach them better. And mid- mid- midfielders coming in, Casemiro's going to teach them better. Exactly. Than Tommy or Maguire. Not having Branthwaite. That's what we need. That's what we need. So, You're not being it, Ash. 
not for you. No, I'm not having it. Do you know what I mean? He's, he wears flippers. Do you know what I mean? The size of his feet. He's got like size 16 feet. Whatever. You can't control the ball with them feet. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> he's he's going to get more clunky and more comfy. Right, he's going to turn into Maguire. Maguire. Maguire looked similar to him at a similar age, you know. Maguire looked like quick and able on the ball and technical when he was young, when he was 20, 21 and all that. Then he started to stiffen up and become a little bit more old and then look clunky and unable to turn. And that's going to happen to Bramthwaite as well, you know. I right, swear, it's only because he's young actually, now, he's looking nimble. I don't know, man. I, I rate him highly, man. I can't lie to yeah, you. I think Brown going to be a good <laughs> player, man. I think, he I think well, he's well, someone we can get. Very technical, man. Very, very very you, you, go, you go for Antonio Silva at Benfica yeah. and then Todd and Yeah, but we ain't getting them. Tadebo, we should get because he's nice. And we yeah, how much, how much is Bramfate going to cost us? Do you know what I mean? English. We're going to be paying 60 lot, million for him. He's a lot, a lot. Or fucking McTominay. That's what I was going to say, Ash, in regards to this is yeah. where the recruitment thing comes into. Yeah. Bramfate is nothing like, do I think he's good? He looks decent, yes. Is he anything special where it's like throw the bag and get him? No. But where it will see this this in the summer we'll see what this. Mark Gay at Palace, do you know what I mean? Mark Gay at Palace, I'd go yeah, for yeah. him for a bit Scal cheaper, Scal do you know what I mean? I've been linked with him, but Scalvini at Atalanta, another young centre back that not many mm. teams are gonna go for and, and who goes under the radar. Him and Tadebo would be perfect because I don't think we're gonna overspend. And the, the chat are saying uh, Bramfway is gonna cost a bomb because he's English and because yes. it's United mm. been calling. Fuck that off. Oh, for yeah, yeah. Barada are gonna come in and start doing proper business, finding them gems. Estonia, Insta. Yeah, yeah, I think he'll be. A, he'll be We're a definitely team. in a position right now where we need to do like flawless is saying a lot of low risk stuff. Like I'd rather them say this kid is 20, 30 million. He's not necessary. We're not. We're, we're taking a gamble because we don't know if he can play up to the level, but we think he'll be consistent. And then at least that way, if you sell them on a year later or eighteen months, you're not losing that much. Buying someone for thirty million and sending for ten, fifteen is nowhere near as bad as when we go. 80 million like we literally with Maguire we literally got stuck in it it's like the salesman stopped us in the shopping centre and said you can buy this shirt it's expensive there's no receipt <laughs> there's no receipt Maguire is uh, like yeah. would you like some chocolate at the checkout that's what yeah, it was literally yeah, yeah. That's yeah well, it's gone Maguire. out of date yeah. I'm on special offers at the checkout that it's gone out of date <laughs> <laughs> well, but what you're saying there, Leon, I'd rather, uh, it, instead of spending 70 million on a Bramfway, go and spend 20, 20 couple, 22, 23 million on three centre backs. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Exactly and let them fight out. Do you know what I mean? Let them develop. That's it. That's it. Mm. Rather than spend that, I fully oh, agree with that. You said yeah. 70 million, all right, 235s, and then all of a sudden you got extra players. Mm. So this whole thing that you can sign five, six players and it doesn't have to cost 400 million. It's all about smart recruitment. And that's what these people who mm. are paid very, it's a very tough job. Mm. What we're asking them to do yeah, is extremely said, yeah. tough, yeah, but hard. you are compensated extremely well. This is yeah, why yeah. you, man, are millionaires. If you're paid millions upon millions of pounds to do your job, then you are expected yeah. to do it at the extreme, at the highest level. And that's what we want at Manchester United. Is recruitment very tough? Yes. Go out there and do it. And if they don't, get someone else in who does it. Because there's players out there, 110%. You could say there's bad boy center no, 100%. out there that don't cost 78 because... 90 million. Because as much as, like I said to you, the, 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 the situation today on the bench was was great, yeah. But we didn't have an extra centre-back to bring on. You know, no Evans. You know what? Mengi as well. Wasn't he let go of Mengi. And Mengi's been performing at Luton and, and madness. That. And how many more players tonight are letting go? Do you know what I mean? We've seen him let go of Ghana. We've seen him let go of uh, Pereira. We've seen him let go of Alanga, who's performed better than Anthony. Letting go of Mengi. Mengi would have done a job for us this season. Yeah, when you've seen what he's doing over there at Luton, do you know what I mean? Man, just wow. talking a bit about him getting a, a decent move now as well. You know what I hope as well this summer? I hope they get a bit of a utility man as well. I hope they get someone who can play a few mm. different positions, you know, because we've missed that. Like when we had um, Blind and that. Big up Andy. Big up, Andy. Yeah, safe, yeah. Big up, Andy. Yeah, bless Andy. Yeah. Nice big up, Andy, man. Andy. Andy. Love, love. Andy. Good night, top man, top man. Goodbye, <laughs> 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 Come on, United. Like Go on, Andy. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. All the best, bro. Yeah, I miss, yeah, yeah. I miss having awesome. um, I miss having daily blend and stuff because, like, for the price we actually paid for him and what we got out of him as a squad utility player, who's a proper mad. utility and player, man. Daily sure the quality Blinders. now, quality. Side, he's still playing now and he's still got it. Do you know what I mean? It's crazy. Had the so, intelligent the IQ in it. That's what it was. Yeah, hundred percent, man, hundred percent. Um, yes, Freddie saying beat Scouts and Spurs, lost Villa, dropped points. Great weekend, boys. When you look at it like that point of view, but the only thing is with the United, though, we don't do our job in it. That's the thing. That's why I'm not really looking at the Premier League. I, yeah, I'm laughing at Tottenham and I'll and I'll cook Toby and I'll do whatever Villa, but at the same time, I still don't expect my United to take advantage of this. <laughs> I hope this is a springboard for the rest of the season. I really hope, but do I really believe that in my heart of hearts? No, that's why I'm just celebrating today. 
Like people might call me shameless and be like, da da but I'm celebrating today and I'll think and I'll think about tomorrow tomorrow. Because that's what it's a club fine to margin me. between they... giving credit where it's due and I can't even remember the other way I wanted to compare it, but people saying it's an overreaction. It's, sometimes you're allowed to give even people it's measure credit. So yeah, like we're just it, it's not even like we're so ex- I think that's what I said at the start. The excitement is for the fact that the scousers are out. Hold that, like it's not about what like people? overreacting. Like, do you know what I mean? It's so I feel like sometimes when we give, even when we give a little bit of credit, people mistake it for overexcitement. Some then what are we gonna talk about? Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. The you know scouts, we knocked them, them out, man. They came here thought they were going to spank us, didn't they? Do you yeah. know what I mean? They came here thinking they were going to spank us, thinking they were going to teach us a lesson. Do you know what I mean? And they, they went all yeah. the way between center, the legs. Center back. And that's the thing. These men, they didn't play well. But that's not our fault. Oh, we're, we're bad. So you should. We, you don't need to play well to beat us. So the fact that we beat you guys, bro, we're over the moon, man. We're, we're proper shit. And we the, beat problem, you guys, the problem so. with football these days <laughs> is, is people are allowed to enjoy anything. Like, yeah. like... Saeed mentioned Grizz, yeah, and Grizz is like, well, you won the battle, but you're not going to win the war. Who gives a fuck about the war when we've just won yeah. in the, the FA? we just won the battle. Against yeah. the- I hate the most. I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm about- happy we've won. I'm going to take this moment. When the dust settles, yes, the season has been mm. shit. And we are going to, obviously, we are going to grab onto any positivity we get from this season. Bro, look at Rob's yesterday. I can't wait to play Coventry. Then I went, I tweeted, I said, yo, Swear oh, don't that. oh geez, is that on your? Let me retweet that now. Hold up, one second. Yeah, yeah retweet that, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going yeah, to Rubs's. Yeah, that, Rubs his tweet right now. This is now. what it was yeah, yeah. on Saturday. Let me go. Let and me, I was hey, like, yo, hey, hey, Saeed, you know me. When these things happen, you need to DM me these directly. One second. Yo, man. This. 100%. Yeah. Bro, you know what I'm like. I said to myself, you got Rubs. I said to myself, nah, man. What? My United, yeah. For, for as shit as we are, yeah, we can't be letting these cows take the piss of us like that. Like we can't just like little bros. Disrespectful, man. And this is why I did a video yesterday. I was like, yo, nah, man. United, I got one final message for you lot. Don't let them do that. Don't let them disrespect you again at Old Trafford. Don't let them come here thinking 9,000 uh, le, 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 you know, fans in the crowd taking over and whatnot. Nah, don't let them do that. Don't let them think they're winning the quad this season. Are you mad? Yeah. Are you mad? Baby quad. About winning yo, the quad this season. Cra- Get out crazy of him, man. Crazy dude we're talking That's about. That's the baby quad. It's a baby no, quad that is. they use on for. Let's not act like it's not. It's, it's, it, it's, the, me, it's, the real deal. it's the really It's the real deal Holyfield quad. It's a baby quad. That's what you it know was. what? Shout out to Norden. It's the Mickey Mouse quad, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, man. That's yeah. what it is. Mickey a Mouse quad, quad, bro. A quad's a quad, but it is the Are baby quad. Let's just clarify. Saeed, have you spoke to Norden today? Was he there? No, you know, I don't think he was at the game, you know. I don't I don't think he it was at the game. I didn't see him. Well, if he was there, I didn't see him anyway, because we, we came out, there was loads of people there. It was it was just a madness, bro. After the game, bro, my leg listen, man. This guy, this crutch today, <laughs> my legs actually more effed, guys. I swear <laughs> down. There's a guy worth who it. literally trampled on my leg, but it's worth it. My crutches one point went over the other side because some guy dashed it. <laughs> someone dashed your crutch. <laughs> yeah, someone dashed my crutch, man. That's crazy. And I said, yo, 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 I need that to get back home, man. <laughs> Give me that crutch. <laughs> so halfway <laughs> celebrating, I'm like looking around thinking, yo, where's this crutch? Give me that crutch back, man. And then, yeah, bro, literally painful, man. Like, But in the end, it's worth it, man. Like I said, man, I came there, you know what I mean? Warrior mentality, thinking that we need to win them. We need to beat them, bro, no matter what. We need to turn up. So we ended up doing it, and that's all I want, man. But again, like I said to you, this is for now, isn't it? This is where I feel like for me, you can't have these performances and then just go to Brentford away and get beat or not show the same intensity. You're only playing one game a week. You know, yeah. as if Liverpool at least, yeah, you could say, them man played Salah for the full 90 minutes. They were stupid. They played certain players yeah, for the full 90 minutes. They did their mistakes, yeah, but United, it's one game a week. How can we not get up for one game a week? Like, this is the problem with United this season, is that we have been inconsistent. We have been inconsistently consistent. That's what we have. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know that's what the, I mean, bro? That's the only hey, consistent sh- thing about us, is inconsistency. Inconsistency. You know what? Shout out to the chat as well. I don't know how they find the crutch emoji, but they're posting it. Have you seen what side of <laughs> bro, it? Exactly. Have you seen what side of bro, it? Bro, I didn't know that. Go up and put the, put the silence comment up. His name's silent, isn't it? It's killed me with that comment. Silent. Oh, yeah, there you go. Your crutch needs a crutch. Hey, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy, man. <laughs> But now, nah, big up, man, honestly. Because like I said, man, the atmosphere was, was something else. But like yeah, I said, you're not going to get every time the atmosphere. I'm sorry. But there's going to be games where, I don't know, who we got a couple of weeks. Newcastle at home. We've got Sheffield United. We've got 
I think we've got Liverpool. who else have got home games? Liverpool, Liverpool Arsenal. Arsenal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think they're the last home games coming up. You're not gonna always have these kind of atmospheres, you know. You know, what I mean it's gonna yeah. be flat. It's gonna be you like don't what give happened up Everton. on the war, man. Yeah, I think these about, players hey? now. Don't give I think these players no, now. I'm saying we don't give up on the war anyway. We didn't care about the war realistically, so yeah, yeah that was exactly. even more sweet. Me, man. You know what it is like, for me for the rest of the season? There's not that much to play for. Like, let's be real, yeah. If we make it to yeah, the FA exactly final against City, yeah. it's a tacky hey, game. Hey, that Chelsea, you must win. No, no, Chelsea, you must win. Chelsea, what you got for us? No, 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 Chelsea. We play Chelsea in the FA Cup final. I want to beat Man City. No, no, no. He wants revenge. Bring me my I don't care. Let me get on the let me get on the my brother, my brother. Like, let me get on the Malcolm. Now the Martin Luther King thing, not not Malcolm. See what I'm saying? My brother, my brother. This is not what we're doing, man. Like, no, do not call out City. I know we're gassed. Relax. All right, Saeed, man. First of all, first of all, we have to beat Coventry. No, big up to Coventry, by the way. Respect to them. You get me for getting to the semi final. But let me tell you something, yeah. Chelsea, if they go to the final, big respects. But the favourites are Man City, right? That's so Man City yeah. expected to go through, right? Yeah. If Chelsea mm-hmm. beat them, we don't do, you know, I'm, I'm big I'm up. Putting we'll put, I'm, I'm putting that energy out there right now. About that, that year, maybe it's going to be second year sweeter. I don't know. Because last year we should have done it when it mattered. But the way they beat us last year and the way I came out of Old Trafford, you know what I mean? And they were shouting, they were chatting about us about the bucket hats and that. Like, mm. now, I want to beat them, man. I want to beat them, man. City in the final, bro. I want to beat them, let, bro. Let, let, all we have, all we have, to, all we have to do is, if it, if it's nil nil after fifteen seconds, we're with a chance. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> Let's just see. <laughs> we ain't trying to see City, man. Hey, Chelsea, you must. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Chelsea, you know what, I hope, though, for the rest of the season. Yeah, I, yeah, Chelsea, players, play Chelsea. I hope these players just want to spoil things because we haven't got that much to play for. So just spoil it. Just go out. Hey, there. hey, hey, you know what, Leo? That kind of sounds like last year. You know, when we played a certain mm. someone in FA Cup final who was on for a treble. Interesting. <laughs> and oh, people yeah. say, let's yeah. go there and play spoiler. Like, yeah. I, I just like... mean, like, in the league, yeah. I just <laughs> want us to spoil just certain things, like take points off teams that we want to think. Like, I don't know. Flawless, you've absolutely ruined all of us with that push button on Instagram. You know, that's been in my head. That's which been one? my nightmare since you posted. The one with which the guy one? with the button, and it's like, which one do you choose? I hate that post. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather what jump off a cliff. Up, what's everyone saying? Me. What's everyone really saying? Me. Ugh. Jump off a cliff, from That's it. That's I'm my option. I'm okay with City winning, you know. I have no go. issue with it. You nah. know why? Because they're cheating I'm bastards. So I, I, I don't even, I don't even acknowledge what they're doing. Do you know what I mean? Well, to me, it means oh. nothing. Yeah, you, know, you, know, you know, you know what it's like. You, you, you know what it's like. Hold on, hold on a sec. You know what it's like. It, it, it's like a guy competing in women's sports. Do you know what I mean? It's just one of them things that it's, it's you, you can't respect it. Do you know what I mean? It is what it is. Um, and they can win, they can do whatever, but when these 115 charges come to light and the Premier League kind of lay it on them, do you know what I mean? Th- then we'll see. Uh, and and uh, all, all be gone away, do you know what I mean? Nah, not for it. But we've not, beat, we've not beat City this season. We beat them last season one time. They beat us twice this season. We owe them, we owe them a defeat, so that defeat's going to come in the yeah. FA Cup, in it, Saeed? I'd like I mean, that. I, 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 I don't, I don't think these are really just before you come in, yeah. I just can't deal with Arsenal winning. I, I cannot deal with them winning the league. I could not this deal is, with it. This, this, Why? I'm not saying the league, league, man. Not, no, no, you're in I'm Manchester down here, yeah. They're everywhere. I know, bro. I know, I know, I know. This is, this, is, this, is, I know. this is always my whole thing. It's a no, maybe it's a north south divide, yeah. Like, but I don't care about like, I cannot have Liverpool or City win anything. I don't even want them anything. Scratch card, mate. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't, they can't win nothing. Like, so Ashley's right. Hopefully, no, it's, again, hopefully these 115 charges come to light and, and they get kicked out of the league, disbanded, everything. They have to go and play polo or something. They can't play football anymore. That would be the dream. But it's Manchester City. They're going to get away with it. So I cannot have them further just pissing all over our yeah, record yeah, and winning a yeah. fourth in a and row. And double A, to add to that, yeah, the reason why I fully agree with you, and I'm I'm on what you're on, even though I'm from London, and Leon, this is why, wh- how I see it, yeah? I confirm all of that Arsenal noise, and do you know why? Do you know, I'm going to give you two things to think about. Try and think about Cause it. Because you ain't out here on socials, that's why. That, that, cont- no, from not a even that. Creator, it is, <laughs> no, from flawless. a content creator space. No, no, right, no, from a, co- I, I hear you, yeah. from a, from a, sheer Manchester United standpoint, so taking out your personal biases and everything, best case scenario is probably Arsenal winning the league because it's the first time in 20 years, it's not breaking no records, etc, etc worst case scenario from social media, 
horrible on social Brethren's yeah. content creator space, Arsenal. They ain't done look, shit and, and they don't show up now. Like They're annoying now. Imagine they win the league. They are anno- they are no. annoying being in a title race I and being in the that. quarterfinals of the Champions League. I'm telling you right now. But the thing is, fuck, though, Arsenal, uh, hell, but the thing hell. is, though, Flawless, you can close an app. You can you can mute. <laughs> People, yeah. What you can't do yeah. is Liverpool change records are matching us with league titles. Away from the league, yeah. league, league title or hey. record books, and that makes man feel more shit as a United way. fan. When, when they compare our, our, our accomplishments, they say, "Who are you?" Look, no, it hurts brother. me more than Liverpool. Uh, I hear hurts. you because they're, they're number one. That I'm hurts, man, brother. brother. I'm, Liverpool, I'm, early, yeah. I'm a nineties baby, early nineties baby. Arsenal <laughs> have been the up since I've walked out of the same. They were the always the main. They team. are the lesser of three evils, and, and that, but that, Arsenal has still got a lot to catch up, man. They're not I'm, catching I'm, up to yeah. us anytime. Nah, nah, you know what what you nah, nah, nah. I, I feel, I feel nah, like I mean, the Liverpool well, thing. You me. can look at it two ways. It's horrible that overtakers, but it's motivation for us to get back and thingy in a way. That's the way I'm looking. Because honestly, bro, you don't. When you live around Arsenal fans, bro, they will go on like yes. double A. They will talk to yes. me like they've and, won twenty and, one league titles. Honestly, and double A, you're saying about you take you saying about closing the up. They're closing the app. I work with these lot, unfortunately. Yeah, that is worst case that. scenario. <laughs> I'm saying that's what I said from a personal standpoint. Because yeah, 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 I just yeah. can't stand Arsenal. Like I was born into that rivalry. So that's where it stems from. As much as and don't get me mistaken, Liverpool are their worst case scenario. And then Arsenal and City are on par. I don't want none of them. Void the league. That's my thing. Void, yeah, void, void the league. league. I agree. Void like, it. you know, when City won it, yeah, my thing was okay, but we did it first. I, it felt so good to say that. That like, I was clutching onto yeah. that. <laughs> if Arsenal win it, I can say they're still far away. Liverpool now, they're bragging. They they basically say, can say they're better than us now because they've more, won more titles than us. And it, that hurts me. You know what most, it is, guys? Man. You know, like the chest me. Arsenal talk with now and they've won fuck all. I just can't deal with that That when they win it. I hear gonna, that, it, though. It's just going to go to next level, bro. Honestly, these men are going to just like, oh, I don't even know how to describe them. They're just unbearable, bro. They're like, it's like having a fan knocking on your door every day and just being like, yo, do you know what I mean? It's like having an Arsenal fan as a postman and he's just there like, yes, nah, <laughs> Remember, we won that league last year. Like, <laughs> Yeah, 100%, 100%. Um, just before we wrap up on that, I know Rance is saying here, yo, Rance, you came in too late, man. We're about it? to wrap up now, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we know what Rance is coming for. But now, before we, nah, nah, before Rance we, uh, before we wrap up, yeah, let me see what he said here. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow, yeah, say no more. Big up, big up, man. But you know what? Before we wrap up, yeah, listen, man, End of the day, we won. We move now. You get me, and we just have to see where this thing th- uh, thing takes us, man. You know what I'm saying? To we just have to see where this, th- you know, what I mean, this win takes us. But a big win, you know. What I mean, it's good yeah. to see everyone happy. And like I said, man, we've been depressed a lot this season, man. You know, we've been depressed a lot this season, bro. Like too much, too much depression, man. And right now, like I said, it's just good to see everyone just smiling for once and seeing them Liverpool scouts is in tears. You know what I mean? That man are too much everywhere. Just to see them in tears is the best thing ever, man. So I can't lie, man. Big up to, to everyone locked in, man. But let's see how many likes we've got right now uh, before we do wrap it up. Let's see if we've got at least uh, 500, at least 1,000 likes. We've been here for a long time. 794 likes, guys. Let's get up to uh, 1,000 likes, bro, people, before Run we wrap the up, likes, man. You lot, Run up the likes. Yeah, man, get them likes up, man. Get them likes up, people, man. Get them likes up, indeed, man. Flawless, man. Any last words, man, before we wrap up, man? And then, obviously, shout out your channel, man. Yeah, always blessed for having me on. I say this every week. Really appreciate that, Saeed. Big up to the entire panel as well. Always enjoy the show. Always. And yeah, yeah. No, but pressing journals is it's stressed. Uh-huh. Always enjoy the show. Big up to Rant each and every time. Like I say big up to each and every one of you lot. Large up the chat. Just run up the likes and hit the subscribe button because you're getting this A1 quality content on a weekly basis and on a daily basis from Saeed. Boy, flawless, well. though. Yeah. Big up on the 10K, though. Love, no. much appreciate. Yeah. Thank you, man. Awesome. Thank you, man. Big Love, up, man. man. Come on. Big thing. I was gonna Big say situation. that. Yeah, we recently Big. just hit 10k, so roll to 11k. Sarcasm City TV, YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. We're live every day, people. So check us out, man. Quality content as well. What we're we saying? Can we express yeah, more sarcastic content? Because you're Sarcasm City 10k next level, all of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. You gonna get? More. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna get more? Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah, for real. Double A, man. Like final words, and then. Shut yourself out, man. Uh, mate, I, as I said before, scouts busters. Do you know what I mean? Just have to, uh-huh. have to be happy, man. Like with that, we did what we did today. We move on to the semi-finals. I'm just happy with that. You know, we, like I said, let it just settle. Two weeks off now. Tenag has to try and get it right for the next league game, and then we start to judge him on on what really matters, and that's trying to climb up the league. For now, just happy that United have beat Liverpool. 
and that's all I can really care about. But yeah, big up to each and every one of you there. Obviously, it's, it's good to be in such a steam company. Get to talk football with, with some of the some of the some of the greatest people on YouTube, really. So yeah, big up to you, Said, as always, opening the doors for everyone to come through and just kick off the the, the feet in your house and just chill on your channel, man. Do you know what I mean? Leon, Flo, oh, my twin Ash, and big up Rhino. Good to see <laughs> him every single time. Oh, big up the best chat on YouTube. Love you all. Uh, myself, Double A Football uh, on YouTube. Obviously, go and check me out. I'm just filming something new yesterday, which is pretty sick. So that'll be coming out hopefully very, very soon. Uh, talking kit as well. If you're into your kits, come over there. Flawless's favorite show on YouTube, full kit rankers. What is it, Flawless? Yeah, with an R, not a W, people. Oh, there you go. He knows the dance. Yeah. Uh, every Wednesday, 6 p.m. Come and check us out. And yeah, just get involved, man. But big up to each and every one of you. Hope you all have a fantastic week because I know I'm definitely going to be. Yeah, definitely, man. Rhino, man, big up, large up, always, man. Big up to you, yeah, man. man. Yeah, man. Yeah, Rhino, MGTV. Didn't do my Sunday show t today. But I was ready, bro. Next week, I Sunday. was here. Yeah, I was I ready, bro. I couldn't, I couldn't be asked. I'll just be real. I couldn't be perfect. Yeah, no, no, no. We need that. We need that show. No, 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 no. We need that show. We need that. Nah, do you know hey, it is hey, today? You ask for consistency from the players. We need that from you, Rhino. You're not magic. You're not <laughs> out here. Today, you know yeah, today, yeah. Today, today, I, I just want to do a guest, man. The Rhino. Flag. Rhino, have like, real. Like, like, Rhino, have yeah. real. You're moving like Garnacho, pretty hit and miss out here. Hey, Rhino, we are, we are not accepting nah. that. I set myself up. I set myself up. You did? You know what I'm saying? I'd it's threaten you, but you'd fold me real. like laundry. But yeah, this is not what we're doing. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm saying? This is not what we're doing. Listen, <laughs> but I've got some good shows coming this week. You know, me good. and Traps' show, Rhino's Offside Trap. Look out for that Tuesdays, 1.30, 8pm. And Thursdays, 8pm. Oh, and then, um, yeah, man, I got. I'm gonna probably. I might do the Sunday show during the week as well. But listen, most Come importantly, on. you Liverpool Scousers, hold that. I keep seeing. Oh, we had injuries. Oh, watch, we're gonna smoke you in Premier League. We don't care. You ain't got no FA Cup. <laughs> hold that. Yeah, hold that. <laughs> yeah. Shit, Ten Hag. Shit, Manchester, Man Manchester United, and we beat you, you lot. Yeah, yeah. Bruno centre back, yeah. Lindelof left back. Come on, you 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 should be ashamed of yourselves. I don't want to hear no excuses. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> come on. Always, always, man. Big and up, big up the man, them. Double A, flawless. Ash, Leon. You know. Who was on earlier as well? And um, Andy. Andy, big up Andy, Andy. Ande, Ande, Ande. I big up Ashman. Big up Ashman. Always, man. What are you telling me? Yeah, that listen, they thought they won it, they thought they won it twice, didn't they? They thought they were taking away the spoils, do you know what I mean? And then and then they go home, go and wobbled, wrecked, clops, his hair's falling out again, do you know what I mean? He's he, he's rattled, right love it. Let's see, let, let's see the full on collapse now the rest of the season, do you know what I mean? Klopp ended the season with nothing. It'd be, well, he, he won the Carabao Cup, but no, we don't we don't we don't we no, but it's Mickey that, Mouse Cup when we won it. Exactly, it, it, exactly. Yeah. They, they, they call it the Mickey and Mouse Cup, innit? So do you reckon if they don't win anything, they might look back at that and say that's his Kevin Keegan moment? I love it if we beat them. In, <laughs> Yo, in that would be journey. amazing. Do you know what I mean? Oh, what a way, what a way to end the end these Liverpool reign. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that'd be fantastic. But check me out, Ash Meppers. Uh, I've got uh, the United Liverpool vlog coming out tomorrow, so that's entertaining. Got all the goals and that, and and it's a mad one because the fans, the atmosphere today was incredible. Yeah. You can tell tell by my voice and that, and and check uh, TikTok and all that. So, and a pleasure spending the uh, Sunday evenings as always with you boys and the chat as well. Uh, yeah, and we, we we do it again uh, this oh, week. Man. Big up, big up, man. Leon, big up to you as always, man. Yeah, man, big up. No, obviously, like, we got a new thing. It's, oh, I'm a Diallo. Diallo. Oh, I'm a oh. Diallo. That was, me, that, was that was better than your first one, Leon. I'll give you that, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll think of a few more, but no, big up, um, big up the man, them. Rhino, Ash, Double A, Flawless, and Saeed. Big up the crutch as well. The crutch was wild oh, in the stadium with you in it. So big up. We're the here, we're here. The crutch made it back, man. That's, that's what it is. It made it back. Crutch, Next time we want to see you, like, do you know what I mean? Like, spray paint that. Do you know what I mean? Red Devils thing and that, the crutch. Come on, that. Red Devils yeah. and that, yeah. Stickers and that everywhere. Oh, no. Nah, but, bigger, uh, bigger. Um, just catch me on Instagram at the moment, trying to bring the channel back, but just running out of time to do things. But yeah, Rhino, do that show in the week, man. Do you know what I mean? Or me and you will yeah. talk about doing the show, definitely. And you do your work right as well. Come on, Leon, man. Do better, man. Where's what Leon's reality? Only yeah. sports. Yeah, Come on, man. So sporadic, man. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and then it's crazy. I definitely know. Come on. It. Um, just do one yeah. show a week, man. You got this, man. Just do one yeah, show a week. Just, just start there. Yeah. Excited to start doing better shows. Yeah, but, um, you're too good to. You're too good to not be doing more content. Trust. 
I know. I need to. I, you know, you know my life in it doing other people's content. Yeah, but, you yeah. know, we move anyway. But listen, um, make sure you subscribe to the man. Then subscribe to Saeed. He's doing big things as well, man. And man's going to the yeah, stage of filming content with one leg. You know what I'm saying? So that just Bro, says, come on, man. They can't Flawless question the commitment. Yeah, and everyone and I'm double on, A, big up on the shirt thing as well. I like that as well. Appreciate it, man. Oh, yeah. sorry to cut you off. I right, big up FC Bastian as well. I bumped into him in um South, yeah. And he said he watches the Mandem talk. Big up, yeah. Big up, big up, big up. He was giving the show big props. Big up, and he was saying that we don't realise the effects that side shows have on the viewers and how it does a lot for Come the on. viewers and stuff. So big up, big up, man. Big up, Bastion. No, yeah, I appreciate man. man. appreciate Big up, man. That's big up, Black B, man. Chill out, chill out, man. Relax, <laughs> man. Relax, man. <laughs> Come on, come on. <laughs> but listen, people, leave a like on the way out. We're going to redirect to Sarcasm City TV, man. So make sure you follow him over there. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Big up to everyone who's locked in. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video on your way out. Tomorrow, midday live. Roms is going to get cooked. Then I'm, uh, hey, I'm there. <laughs> Bro, we're there, man. We got a lot of cooking <laughs> to do tomorrow, man. So listen, people. Oh, I'll see you lot tomorrow. I'm Take care. Bye. -bye. Oh, 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 I'm a <laughs> 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 <laughs>